gross, but it's really fucking good. It's fucking German shit. Matt Matt thinks he makes good food, and he just literally posts diarrhea in the fucking chat. <laughs> and what, what do you expect to happen? Dumb, diarrhea, Dookie Disgust. Dunk, dropped in the chat like you're fucking James Rolfe over here. Welcome to Tape Eaters, everyone. Matt can't cook. You can cook really well and make really good fucking food. Come over to my house. <laughs> I don't want to eat stink bug stew, bro. <laughs> There's a bunch of bugs in that <laughs> shit, dude. Nobody wants to taste it. <laughs> like oh my god! Food. I've, I've so seen gets... Matt sent me two pictures of food before, and one was his diarrhea dookie soup, and the other one was fucking <laughs> sushi from Ohio that was probably room temperature and falling apart. I feel so bad for some... motherfuckers it's in so Ohio. Stink. No, I what went, happened? I went, hold on, hold on now. I went to Indiana today. Say it already, then. Well, you keep interrupting me. I went to Indiana today and I had some sushi and it was fucking terrible. Nice. Dude, you, you can't <laughs> get good sushi. Story. You can get the fucking sushi that's made for the, the imitation crab meat. You can probably get that shit. That's good enough, I brother. That. It's pretty good. It's that not shit bad. Is fire. <laughs> It's a bunch of Chinese people making it, so it probably wasn't as good as you know it could be. Because in my town they have Japanese, but in Indiana they only have Chinese, which is fucking Hello, bullshit. Oh, you rock a shit, bro. We're like <laughs> hundreds of miles away from any coast. We're never gonna have a good sushi. <laughs> never, never. Listen, guy, I Spears had the Asians right. prepare it. It was great. Okay. The what? <laughs> With the what? Asians. Asians yeah, with carrots? I wish we had an Asian fucking server so I could, like, talk he shit He needs to a him. new EGF. You want to talk shit to Asians? Get on any free-to-play game on Steam. <laughs> That's why <laughs> I only oh. ever play them. I don't it's have so patience funny. for that. This shit's funny, yeah, We got Spears here. We got Doro on tap. Everybody oh, realizes. Yeah. We got Black Baron over here in the call. Somewhere. Best friend of the show, Spears. What uh, Deeb is here. Spears Play is OG. Home. I love Spears. Spears is is just the right amount, like just the right line between like genius and complete schizo. And it's like a line where <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I'm kind of there a lot of the time. But like you're you're even more of a link between like total schizo and like where I'm at. It's just so you, you can get me I'm there. Just, pretty yeah. Easily. I, I totally get it, and I just no longer, like, hold myself to the standards of, you know, sounding like a fucking idiot or, uh, insane. Well, I was gonna say, Spears is actually really... I'm assuming you're saying he's really smart. Is that it? You're, cu you're cutting out. If you would just Sorry. say it already... <laughs> just around the bush. Oh, fuck like... you. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I just left... Say it already! <laughs> no, Spears is really smart. I read his post uh, anything he's fucking saying. I okay. can't hear what you're saying. It doesn't saying, matter. Dude. I'm so over it. <laughs> I couldn't be more over what Matt's saying if I fucking try. Am I still breaking up? Am I still breaking up? Yes! Yes. Wow. Yes, like your That's fed cool. girlfriend. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Don't even bring that yeah. up. Don't even bring her up that fucking glowy it was. <laughs> so i've been feeling lately like i'm totally sick and tired of the paranormal that i'm out of good takes and it always devolves into gin and fairies now i'm kind of sick of it so i uh i want to take a detour into fucking schizo meth head horror cow territory which i think people have been I liking a know. lot my most popular content has been fucking chris chan and ashley it's so it's hard fun. to argue with that <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. So I think we're we're doing the deep dive now into uh, into Lolcow City. Dude, up, we we have to we we got we got to like do a documentary called the search for Stop, Ashley. We'll never promise we, a documentary or, again, dude. Without a <laughs> we're, we're, so edit video, I will Ashley, never do that again. Let, entertain my I'll madness, still do it. okay? It's still coming. <laughs> but fuck it, coming, we, guys. We, We've run through the fucking neighborhood where Ashley was last seen. I will. <laughs> like that one song, but it run through the jungle. That's what we're doing. Wait, Ashley's wait, jungle. Okay, we have to get it out of the way now. You got a hookah. Flames got a hookah. What the fuck is going on over there? What are you smoking on? I'm smoking on that delicious ass watermelon and grape soda. Just some shisha. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, that watermelon, that watermelon fried chicken, and grape soda. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do you feel? Do you feel like the paranormal takes have been beaten to death, and there's just not enough new content? Never. You don't Never. feel Never. that way. Never. 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 Like but, see some other people but, fucking come up with content. Then we we got we we do have to uh, entertain the. Listen, this because I already out. told you that I could fucking do it. Fuck uh, you. Huh? Thing, do a stream, man. Out. I've been telling you to. Out, Did you say so? I don't know how to work computers, dude. I'm lucky no I'm even do, fucking do. here. No idea. Didn't you play World of Warcraft professionally for like I seven years? I played World of Warcraft, you <laughs> motherfucker. Where were we? The On thing with the paranormal. It's that, like, it has to happen to you. And if it's, like, not something that's immediately happened, you're not going to have anything to say about it. Because, like... <laughs> It, and it usually is going to happen without your consent of, no. of something like weird. The one that thing that I am consent. I'm uniquely good at and that I've I've been using is my ability to to tie lines to make lines from one thing to another to compare things to find uh, similarities. And I've written that for a long time, and I intend to keep doing that. But like, you, dude, look up. Try to find a fresh fucking cryptid video, a, cre a fresh presentable cryptid video every week. Try to do that. No. I challenge, and you can do it for a while. You will fucking run out, especially if you're looking shit for shit that's like recent. No, you're fucked, dude. Yeah, but crackheads. Before I try to go to sleep, it sucks. There's a never-ending supply of crackhead videos. I would hope that's so. True. I think I think we would hit a wall on this too, but I have no problem getting there. We have it's to not. become the crackheads to keep the journey going. Become, become Chris Chan, and we have to we have to soul bond with yeah. our mother the Barbara. I'll be, I'll be oh, the meth no. head. Matt can be the trans. I'll be Chris Chan. I, no, no, I would be a really bad tranny. Sorry. <laughs> They're all really bad trans. <sighs> well, I think these trans people insane. Get a fucking work. <laughs> if they would just cut off their cocks, they would Dude. probably feel better. Well, let's... Uh, does this mean we, we gotta have a <laughs> gathering and then like infiltrate the Pride Fest or whatever the fuck they do? Instead of the gathering, I'm just gonna go to the next Pride Festival in fucking San Francisco. Dude, trannies wouldn't have this problem if they would just pass, bro. Just pass. Yeah, yeah, seriously. They, yeah, oh, they, they need yeah, all the money. In the you world. can shit wherever you want at that point. Yeah, shit out of every hole. Yeah. How many holes are there, Matt? Seven. They're mentally ill because they're missing one. All the men here are. That's what's causing them the psychic pain. Jacob McGill and... asks How has Coast to Coast Radio stayed on the air so long? Do they basically have constant reruns and pretend that... that new content? Well, first and foremost, well, yes. Second of all, yeah. they are fucking <laughs> bankrolled. Well, not, no, just no, someone's no, paying me. I that one guy, shit, they so. also they... have that one guy from fucking Las Vegas that's not even entertaining and. Nap, slightest. George Knapp. Well, is that who you're talking yeah, about? George Knapp. That's what his name is. Well, like, they're, they're able to keep shit fresh by, like, bringing. Like people, they call on. people. They, they, yeah, they let people they call have, in. They have, yeah, they, uh, they have people call in as well. And no, it, the same shit. And it, they rehash the, the old. Yeah, they rehash old shit all the time. I used to love Coast to Coast, but George Norrie is nothing like Art Bell. Like I, I want. I listen to a lot of the old shit. Art Bell is so much better than fucking George Norrie, that Pakistani well, fucker. Art Art, Art Bell, like he he entertained people's thoughts of it. Uh, now yeah. George Norrie would just fun. like immediately shit on the fucking caller. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I and swear to God, I Spears, say what you you're saying. This stuff, like Sorry, a Spears. lot of it, ended up being real. Our government admitted to it this summer yeah. that UFOs exist and they don't know what it is. So it's like the next. I step still now think is... it's government shit. Mainly. Maybe, yeah. Almost one hundred percent. Probably, it's a mix, dude. I disagree. I completely disagree. No, it's a mix they, of both. Th dude. I will yeah. say when they show a video, then it's always their shit. Yeah, I'll say that. I but just... Columbus was writing about this. Columbus documented UFO encounters. I we just think... know now that they're vehicles. America yeah, is we'll not say. smart enough to actually do this shit anymore. I mean, I don't think that's true. I think the military-industrial complex is shit that you would not fucking believe. And a lot of shit I, that you wouldn't believe. Probably it's not something that they created. They probably got it from somebody else, is what I'm I saying. Think I think that's a cop-out. 
It's well, possible, well, but I've heard whatever. a million stories about that. Yeah. Each one says they're, they're reverse the engineering this shit. Like it, it, like when when they when they get like a saucer or something, they make their own saucers. I, like, hear you. It, I know. Saying, I heard yeah. the story. I don't buy it. it well, you don't they did buy the same that thing. they're making their own shit. I they buy did it. The they same made thing. their own shit. Yeah. They did the same thing in the fifties when they commandeered all those like Nazi scientists. Hold up, hold up, well, yeah, that's what I'm on. saying. I think yeah, yeah, that's, what, that, that's, what, that's, that's essentially what I mean. Sorry. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, Matt. Uh, so Yakov, you're saying that like they're not they're not doing that. No, I don't think they're not. So. Do, they're not doing their own project. I think they would love for you to believe that. That's what they want you to believe. Me, I don't yeah. think they want you to know all this shit exists. And if it's like some alien shit, then it seems far off, and it's like. But they have shit that just would blow your absolute fucking mind. And I think they I think made it. And maybe true. I think maybe it came from the Nazis. Maybe we got some stuff from Russia, wherever we got it from. I don't know. All over the fucking place. But I think humans are behind it. And they want you to think it's something weird and alien that they can't explain. Yeah. They can't explain I their own shit very yeah. well. You wouldn't understand. I, I don't believe in the that, extraterrestrial angle. Well, I like, disagree with that. But I was just going to say... I do think that, like, most of the things that come to, uh, like, when, when you talk about, like, flying saucers or, like, seeing lights in the sky or some shit, like, it was definitely some kind of, like, human that was behind it, for the most part. But, I, like, it's not America. We stole everything. We steal everything. That's what I'm saying. Dog, but that's, that's, I, f you <laughs> keep bringing up these takes. These takes that I've heard so many times that correlate so well to your worldview. Thank you. I think there's been a lot of innovation. The problem is the innovation hasn't been at a level where people can benefit from it. But the innovation is very real. So I just really want to believe in aliens. I'm sorry. Or it's it's either you aliens don't believe or in aliens. We well, would I like to no, I, do. I I don't believe that aliens are who they say they are. I'm not convinced for one second. Either. I'm not convinced for one take. second that we've been visited by aliens. I think they probably exist. But I don't That's think. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't. I, I, I don't believe in the, any evidence that the, we've actually. The ultra. I, I believe in the ultra terrestrial angle more than the extraterrestrial angle. What is that like? Time travel shit. No, it's it's basically saying that like these these entities are actually more um more closer to home than we think. Well, that's yeah. what the NASA scientists believe, the Nazi NASA scientists, and they were pretty open with their beliefs. They named the first shuttle Atlantis, because mm. that's what they literally thought. Uh, they they thought that uh, white people, specifically Aryans, were descendants of um, a race of gods who had uh, created through um, genetics uh, an offshoot of themselves, which so was what are we, our... Let's clarify this a little. Are you talking about physical beings, or are you talking about interdimensional shit? I'm just I'm talking about what the founders of NASA actually believed. This is what they believed. Uh -huh. They they were Nazis. They were brought over in but Operation Paperclip. You don't think that they were trying to go off planet to find these guys? Is that what you're saying? Or they thought the end result was that a human, specifically an Aryan, could turn into somebody who was psychic, and um, that this technology that we could become the gods that created us. And that was what motivated them. Well, I think there was a lot of a, lo a lot of research done to like Sidhis, like uh, the East, the <laughs> basically superpowers of like Eastern mysticism. I think there was a lot of that going on, and I do think that's what they were trying to tap into ultimately. Yep, because they thought that that was the closest representation of blonde white people, um, and they it's, they it's... thought the Indians. I think that's the the longest like uh, direct line of religion that we have on Earth. It's yeah, like yeah. unbroken in India. Yeah, that's well, they thing. had like two instances of it. They have like a blonde white person version, and like then their own cast something version. I, I don't necessarily understand. Well, I, I I think I, I think like the whole like. Um... What what do we call the the race of Indians? What was their race called? Specific De De Devian or something Ridians? like that. Ridians. There there's multiple yeah. races. That's what their yeah. cast is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There there's that uh, that centric view right now, and it's very modern because you know, like they're they're the majority of the population now. So like they they're they're trying to, I guess, 
brown wash that they're that that kind of history and they they they, they there's a, r- a real push against um the the physical um descriptions of the aryan castes which and was yeah which uh, was their government uh, structure uh, yeah yeah so like the, there there's a big pushback like they want they want to like kind of because they i because like how how can you like um there there's like a cognitive dissonance there because like they 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 feel like uh their their whole race and their whole culture and everything has been given to them by uh an alien group of people Brahmins, and yeah, yeah yeah and they they yeah. don't like that concept so well, the, there's a, right now in this modern age there's a real pushback against that it it's not like a concept it's their history it it did happen yeah. to them and they're revolting yeah. against it and rejecting yeah. it yeah well, because it sorry. was like, there was no social mobility. It was completely race dependent, more so on a level than um, Europe. Like there, you couldn't get out. We think that they just had a bad spot. It was destined that they were to do that, and their government it was illegal for them not to. Uh, and this is well, stuff like cleaning streets and gutters. That's what they were. Well, it's just the fucking way of the world. Like it's like if uh, a you know, deer. They well, sure, but, like, it's like if a deer was getting eaten by a fucking wolf. Like, it's the same thing. Like, it's just what it goes back to. That's just how it is. I hate governments. Sorry. I hate all of them. Every single one of them. I don't hate governments. I hate the way that governs governments govern today. Because they're all really fucking stupid. I can find backwards. something to, it, it, I'll find something to bitch about no matter the... what government I was under. I fucking I'm sure you yeah. fucking will, yeah, yeah God, we, you motherfucker. Would, I think yeah, the nature of government is is to make it smaller. To make it smaller at all times. If I don't grow, but you should be trying to make it smaller. <laughs> yeah, but it, well, I, I feel like itself is like it, it becomes like not an actual physical organism that you could see, but more like a like a organism of consciousness and uh governments like evolve and like the shitty ones die out and like uh, they they have to fill a niche and they have to evolve on in, in their own way now i did now in this day and age is fucking so, bonkers. India, government but... as we know <laughs> is going to go extinct i i kind of think yeah that. i, I don't know what that, that means exactly i well, like the the idea of government right now, I believe what you're saying is going to go extinct. It, it's going to evolve into something else. Well, I don't think. Well, it's definitely evolving right now into some kind of a corporate capitalist is government. Is it evolving like or is nonsense? it or as it completely fucking stagnated since like both. the industrial stagnated. revolution? Stagnated. Both. No, it's done both. Like it's completely stagnated, but it's also evolved into this like weird, overarching thing that doesn't even make fucking sense if you what, actually I talk think that's to anybody. What governments naturally do. Yeah, they they, they have some to get instances. The they yeah. Some instances. What the sense. fuck, dude? Well, they, they have... you, when you prioritize, no, hold on. When you prioritize like certain things, of course you're gonna it's fucking all, morph always, into some kind of. Always, they end up once they're successful, they prioritize excess every fucking time. Well, that's very true. Yeah, I'm not arguing with that. But they morph into these like weird over. Like, okay, sorry. When I talk about governments, I'm not talking about anything other than like the fact that they will persecute the people that are in these governments, they all become authoritarian. What's that one quote? Uh, Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Of course, every single fucking time. I will not disagree with that. But what I'm saying is, every single one of these different governments, from the Soviet Union to America, has started to, like, prioritize these really weird fucking bullshit things that make everything suck. This is because the gayest all... conversation I've ever taken part in. I want to stop. Yeah, it. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I, I want to talk about the it. economy. Hold up. I don't want to do that at I, all. I, I, fucking... uh, I want to. We, we, okay, 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 okay. okay. we, so, we need Greasy here to talk about this. I economy. thought this was a show about the meth heads. I know. We're yeah, getting I, there. We're getting there. We're we getting want there. Meth I'm this dumb shit. Centurion yeah. Bobber says. He has a UFO sighting. He was driving between two towns, so little light pollution. Pulled over to take a piss. Looking up and saw three circular lights on a hovering trapezoidal-shaped craft. Got yeah. my phone and took Ace. a picture. That's cool. Cool. Man. Does he have the? Right. Did he say you had a picture? 
Yeah, it's not around. Get it to me, bro. Damn. Know where to find me. Yeah, um, find that. And also, please let me say something real quick. Meth head shit. So, okay. lots of lots of you're talking UFO about fucking sightings? governments. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, shut up, shut up, Dora. <laughs> fuck you. But uh, no, lots of the UFO sightings I've been hearing about recently, especially in like the late 2000s or the 2010s, have all been triangles. Yeah, that's. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, that's the entire time. That's the only reason I ever paid attention to it was what because been... it was characteristic. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the last like 10 years. I like to drive Borg Cube. Uh, I would like to drive in that. God damn. Talking about UFOs is almost as boring as talking about the government. Let's fucking let's do some oh my fun shit. Fucking God. Government UFOs. Uh, it's the government. Oh, what government UFOs piloted by meth heads. <laughs> Start playing this fucking guy. Is that what it actually is in the pilot program? The world needs to hear about this fucking guy because he's fucking weird. Right. He's I a have, gremlin. A literal fucking screen. gremlin. Uh, who, who are we talking about? The, our, Cyrax. Our new, uh, Cyrax. Yes. Uh, he's a juggalo too. He goes so by we, a few we have to, yeah, it's okay. juggalo we, we have to get... Yeah, we gotta get him like comfortable with us. I think it's he's like going he by the God, God, no. gathering. Shadow Does blade. He need to have a fucking. He yeah, needs to have blade. a leash around his neck with his fucking girlfriend. This is our <laughs> this is our friend Cyrax on screen. We learned a lot about this guy. He's he's our new thing. I think. Dora, do you want to bang this, or is that just uh, a one time? Oh, of course he does. Yeah, he's a disgusting, disgusting. Oh wait, who are you talking about? <laughs> Cyrax or Chance Wilkins. <laughs> I ain't paying them. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this a little bit. Let's go over it. Okay, he is a YouTuber, less than five feet tall and 31 years old, a third generation of rapist pedos who lives with his grandmother. We'll go into all of this. Don't don't take my word for it. This is all okay. alleged until we go over the evidence. He lives with his grandmother, Sally. He is a compulsive liar, grandma abuser, plagiarist, sexual assaulter, pedo, neat, <coughs> weeb, beyond delusional, narcissistic, rage-filled midget. Uh, it's tempted to feel sorry for him as he did not choose his appearance or his mind. But make no mistake, this man is an atrocious person, according to Kiwi Farms. He regularly tries to manipulate people into kindness toward him by making them feel sorry for him through fake tears, threatening suicide constantly, and has sob stories about his trolls. So let's cut to our first video. Let's do this. You guys ready? Are you, you bracing oh, yourself? I'm ready. For I'm, I'm, ready. I'm, I'm, I'm going into this blind. I'm going into this blind. This. this is I him. One video. This is him defeating Chester Bennington's 18 <laughs> second scream. Oh, this is great. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a great start. Based. Based. Uh, nice. Did, did yeah. you stop the clock? <laughs> I think he got 23. It's a 23 second video, so it's about 20 seconds. He did it. He did it. Now you see on this screen. Before very... or after he died. <laughs> He's well still good. He's going strong, really. Oh, oh, oh. So we, we have no, a. Chester, it was like 13 oh, God, years I ago, I believe, I right? Forgot. Yeah, that's the guy. He choked, choke jerked himself to death. Was it because know. of this? Yeah, I think yeah, so. <laughs> so. Absolutely you right. See, you see Cyrax on the screen. He is an attractive fellow. Something's going on with that bone structure there. Face really squished up, kind of. We got a skull. We got these fucked up. Triangular. Feet. We got a. You can see in his image here, he's wearing. I don't know what he's wearing, but he looks like he's Dog got an obsession collar. with heavy <laughs> metal, which is reminiscent of our friend King Cobra, but this is a little different, well, I'd say. He, 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 he sends uh, his girls. Same. Based on his last name, he's an Anglo. So this is your typical Anglo right here. <laughs> so like he's, uh, I think he has Nephilim blood in him. <laughs> but he, as you can see in this picture, he has two rows of teeth. Let's go back. To I see that. <laughs> Does he took really a shark? True. Took a shark mouth. <laughs> oh no! All right, all right. Let's let's go on about this guy. <clears throat> 
His delusions, uh, it's one of his most notable qualities, other than his appearance in Rage. He believes that for 15 years now, he is one step away from achieving world fame of the next greatest rapper singer. This is like me and streaming. He started making videos of his talents over 10 years ago, originally anime music videos in 2011. He started YouTube in 2009, so he's an OG. But he deletes his channels constantly on YouTube and creates new ones because of his dedicated trolls. He refuses to get a job because it's taking time away from his work, also me. And that Daniel Radcliffe didn't have to work when he was becoming famous, although he just ignores the fact that Daniel was 11 when he started out acting, and Chance is now 31. He blames all of his failures on trolls, primarily Music Biz Marty. And I don't want to go too much into the trolls here because Cyrax is interesting enough, but they're going to come up along the way. Uh, Cyrax will also believe almost anything and constantly is falling for fake girls who he sends unsolicited dick pics and videos to. Oh, nice. He is also trolled by users on IP2. Some of his trolls regularly send rope to his house in the mail. <laughs> Damn. So, IP2 is, uh, it, it branched off from, like, Internet Blood Sports. It was originally Ice Poseidon's thing. Uh, Baked Alaska was pretty big on it. But it's basically just, like, drug addicts doing fucked up shit. IRL getting into trouble and arrested and shit. So th <laughs> those are his trolls. Lucky him, right? One day um, that'll be. Hey, Yakov. Yes. There's actually a part of this, and I have the show notes downloaded. So if you want me to read anything, this is uh, really close. I'm better than you at reading. Wow. It's no, true. We need to have a read off. We need to have a read off. <laughs> we we wow. basically have we have recordings of both. <laughs> People can make their own decisions. <clears throat> no, we need so, to have it like that auditorium where you, both of you guys stand up and just read <laughs> shit. Do you have a spelling bee? All right. So yeah. they say that, beat at that Cyrax may have a, a case of mild progeria. I didn't know that could be mild. It is rumored he may have a condition called cleidocranial displas dysplasia, where certain bones in the body don't develop. Also born with one kidney and lung issues. Our guy. You feeling bad for him yet? No, he's the chosen one. That's true. Feel bad for your average out. Anglo juggalo male. <laughs> Here we have our boy. Why can't? Why isn't the gift coming up? That's sad. I can't get the gift. But here you see him next to a car. And yes, that is probably a very tiny car. This dude is like four feet tall. I had a gift for this, but I can't get it now. It's a fucking trash. Damn, he's four feet tall. Basically, he is like a little dwarf guy. Let's try Dude. to get that gif up again. It's not working for him. I, I want to see him at the gathering of the Juggalos next it's year. It's not working. All right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets to the weird <laughs> shit. His Slushy joke says, why would I pity a Chad? <laughs> he's, he's totally Chad. You want to hear something, Chad? This next line will do it. His penis is infected by chronic masturbation and bed bug bites. Also into <laughs> urethral insertion and the dick vice. Now, the funny Ooh, thing is... I actually met. Yes. Bug bites? The dude. funny thing is, dude, there's videos of all of this shit that I just listed off. And yes, I uh. had to look at a couple to make sure they were there. Make sure it was legit. It's as bad as it sounds. None yeah, of you guys step check. up to the dick vice. None of you guys are man enough. How do you get to that point? I've, I've just never understood. <laughs> are you a bad enough dude to put yourself into the vice grip? You have to be desensitized a little. <laughs> Here I have on screen some more uh, evidence of his hygiene. These are supposedly, this is his scalp, the top of his head, his fucking skull, if you will. These are the bed bug bites that he's constantly scratching. Oh my god. Basically, dude. like, infected wounds now. I, dude, there's nothing, I, we've said it before, there's nothing worse than bed bugs. It's just true. I, I've never encountered them, but damn, they, they could put a number on you. We yeah. know that... That Cyrax has been switched from the basement to the attic of his grandmother's house. They say that she has a little bell that she rings to call him down to do shit. That's part of the deep lore. <laughs> He's like, uh, what, what's that guy that um that helps Doctor Frankenstein? I have no goddamn. Oh, <laughs> the little, little fucking hunchback guy. 
Yeah, yeah probably. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't oh, the matter. Hunchback is... Uh, it's all the same. Yeah. Let's go to our next video. Pay attention here. What up, y'all? It's your boy. Give me just a minute to refill my coffee. I'll be right back because uh, Tyler and Marty fell from my fucking trap. And if you want to know what I mean, I'll be right back. All right, we're getting so some revenge. Revenge <laughs> on the so trolls. He's for and he's very he's smug about this. Now, <laughs> there's a little bit of a little bit of timing going on here that I appreciate. We zoom in a little bit. As a oh my god! Scurries by in his fucking in his fucking attic that he lives in. A mouse. That's funny. And it's not like I've never had mice before. Don't get me wrong. I can't hate on a man for that. But I love the timing of being so smug. You walk out of the room and then there's just like <laughs> vermin everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> So you can see actually the talking about, I was talking about this with somebody. This is actually why I have cats. Because yeah, like I have, I have, I have chickens. I have grain, and mice love fucking grain. And yeah, no fucking mice. Fuck you. Fuck mice. I don't mind. Okay. I don't hate the mice, but I do. I'd rather have a cat than mice. Yeah. I understand I love all animals. I understand a struggle, but you know, might makes right the world. Whatever. Sure. Live cats. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's house where Chance lives was once broken into in 2008. Interestingly, interestingly, someone once honked drunkenly in their car outside their house for hours before being arrested. And there's all the documentation on Kiwi what? for this. It's pretty good. I I don't know. Maybe maybe it was me. Maybe I just didn't tell anybody. So Cyrax maybe lives was going uh yeah we, we were out there and we were pissed off we couldn't get our meth just fucking honk fuck this everyone dude's like he's not even on meth i wish he was on meth he hates drugs and alcohol is what i learned oh, which God. Oh, i think really? when you're born with that many defects i think the doctor just tells you like don't ever do anything you're basically gonna so die based, you only have one kidney based on where he's from i know based. lots of people in this state He's from Akron. I know lots of people in the state that actually act like this. Akron, yeah. Ohio, Ohio niggas. Like, really retarded Ohio people literally just act like this because they think they're hard as shit. Yeah. Yep. This was the gathering, all right. Matt's going to drop in on this guy and get some IRL content. Yeah. Oh, snap. That's going to be. So I, I, cool. I'll interview him with a little microphone. So, Cyrax lives hey, with his grandmother what? and her boyfriend, Ed, after his dad was sent to jail for raping a 14 year old girl on a bike path. And his exceptional Jesus. mom, which I'm pretty sure yeah, is, is uh, fucking means retarded. I'm pretty sure that's like, uh, what's that called? Word filter. Who drank while pregnant, burned down her own house cooking on a stove. She took three years to learn how to drive a car in her adult years. Wow. So that was the 14-year-old you know, girl that was raped by her dad to have him. Beautiful. You, uh, were you talking about fetal what? alcohol syndrome? I don't know, maybe. It just doesn't sound like it needs fetal alcohol syndrome. You got like a yeah, criminal a rapist worse. dad and like yeah. a literally retarded he, mom. He he literally just sounds like somebody should have been aborted. Honestly. I'm not for abortion, but like his name, it, come on. It was, it was destiny that he was born, dude. Matt, he's a strong white man. He, he's, yeah. He's no, he, he is pure dude. Aryan blood. Well, he's Aryan you phenotype. Defend yourself. Like you don't, like it should be a civic duty to defend yourself against people who wish to violently violate you in some way because it's just gonna like it won't stop yeah yeah so he's based <laughs> yeah let's go on here whatever the fuck his dad rupal marks now oengus ravenwood rupal wow <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, he has a really going, weird name. Imagine going from this a name as stupid as Rupal Marks and renaming yourself Weng, Wengus Ravenwood. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he was he was Ow. arrested. <laughs> 
He was arrested and imprisoned for the rape of the 14-year-old. He was 25. He took the girl off a bike path 50 feet and covered her head with a t-shirt. He served 20 years for this. He got caught because his friends told him there was a sketch that looked like him on TV, which caused Rupal to call the cops and say, paraphrasing, that's not me. I wasn't on the bike path that day. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, I was it? I don't know how this uh, R, R to, R says. I don't know. But he says a very Shakespearean upbringing. That definitely nails it. <laughs> like, you can't make this shit up, dude. Yeah, like... yeah. Police showed up and found the bike marks were the same. He changed his name to Wengus and now lives in Anchorage, Alaska. Cyrax's trolls were able to get a hold of him and found out he was posting images of underage boys in drag on Pinterest and then told people to alert his workplace, resulting in Wengus supposedly getting fired. Got him. Normal. Chance's granddad was also a pedo rapist. He got married to Sally when she was 14 or 15 years old and he was 25. Chance has oh others. God. Chance has hey, others. Tree. He has other siblings, but they don't want to talk to him or know him. His one brother that did, Bill, died due to cancer, and he was also gay and possibly had AIDS. He would call the cops about Cyrax abusing their grandmother. Cyrax also never visited his brother in the hospital. Cyrax did get arrested on 2-14-2012 for choking slash strangling his grandmother. Cyrax has said that the police told him he had blacked out and didn't remember doing it. You ever think the police would say that? Like, oh, it's okay. He just blacked out, bro. <laughs> no, okay. He was sent to counseling, which Cyrax seemed to like. And I do have the mugshot. We can get that pulled up. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He, okay, so this... It's the thumbnail also. What's up, Matt? What's up, buddy? Uh... Christ. <laughs> Christ. See what I put up with. Him. I, still not, I, I love that confused look on his face. He's like, where am I? <laughs> I just blacked out, bro. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to strangle grandma. So, like, I, I love his uh, hair is, like, thinning at the top like that. Dude, he's aging rapidly. I think that's why they why people say he's got fucking, like, mild progeria. He's like Robin Williams. The Benjamin <laughs> Button. <laughs> <laughs> Just think he's a glass of water. He'll be fine. No, just, just <laughs> need some milk. Yeah, a glass of milk. And... M- 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 mama. All right. So one of the major themes of Cyrax is his de- desperate search for love, or a love quest maybe, which led to his first GF. She was online only and had only one hand due, a- due to a failed suicide attempt on a train station. Let's get right. the beautiful couple up on the screen. I, this guy has a pirate GF, and I don't. <laughs> Did you see the pirate right, okay. GF? You gotta wait till you actually see the image of her. I make don't. Decisions. It, I have it up. You know, yeah, it's up. It's up. She do be kind of pirate. Like, you could probably drink some rum and shit with her. Uh, got the straight up hook. She's kind of censored, but I think the point gets across just fine. How do he you looks like a medieval sir. That's true. Yeah. He's returning. He is returning. I'm yeah, he returned to it too. My pirate girlfriends, the fucking Friar Tuck haircut going on. <laughs> Speaking of that, I was going to say, like, he literally looks like, you know that one uh, guy that taxidermies deer asses to look like faces? He does. He literally looks like that. He looks like a deer ass. There's no doubt. So, and here's the other thing is that nobody can say that Chance doesn't have a type. Here's his second girlfriend on screen. Oh, man, I'm fucking everything up. There she is, looking with much the same physique. You got these fat, dark-haired women. It's all about that for some reason. That's what he's into. He likes the emo aesthetic. Is that what you call that? That looks like like (laughs) single mother, like, complaining about forgetting the wrong toy at, like, Burger King. It's like emo when you go to, like, Kmart. (laughs) It's true. And she do be looking like she was picked up at a Kmart. All right, it's so like discount emo gay thing. Eric, I like his model face in that picture. <laughs> the, the, the Zoolander face. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's move on here. 
Fucking Eric Scrubbleo Eric Scrubbleo was part of a record label and offered to let Chance be a part of it around 2012 or 2013 because he felt sorry for Chance and his deformities. He made the wrong decision. Let's listen to this song. I think this is just audio, but it's important. It is. So this is one of the trolls calling this uh, guy who owned the record label, where Chance was a charity case. Jesus Christ. These people can't run streams also. They're fucking... The trolls are very insane and they're on fire. <laughs> Mr. I was going to say, is this ever going to start? Yeah. How are you doing today, sir? I'm um, doing excellent. How about yourself? Lovely, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm sure you're wondering where my intrigue is coming from. Um, let me let me ask you this: uh, out of all of your label mates, what experience do you remember the most? Like, which one do you remember dealing with more than the others? Okay, what is this for? Uh, purely intrigue in the one they call Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. <laughs> that was Cyrax's original name. Um, we got more blades in the, in the call. With the one they call Shadow Blade. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want to know my. The one they call Blade Smith. Oh, believe you me, uh, I hold them in uh. very, very low standing. The lowest of standings. Yeah, well, um, I can't find him. Okay, I can't find what profile he's in. Oh, my I... God. Well, well Mr. Scrublaw, I've got great news for you. Uh, I have had very extensive dealings with him. Uh, he's threatened to murder me endless times. Like, I have had a real back and forth with this little guy. Uh, I'd be more than happy to relay it to you. Okay. Um. Well, number one, he is... An ex label mate. Yeah. He, uh, I don't know, man. He stole like ten of my songs. Jesus Christ! He he just steals everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Rob, right? Last time I talked to him, low. we recorded. And then, then yeah, they, Rob the Legend. Got, the uh, that name got, video you know, producer. Yeah. Something like that. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, whatever you want to know, I'm down. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, yeah, like, how, how long ago did you start working with him, and how long did you, have you known him? I've known him for close to maybe 10 years. Holy shit. Oh, come on. Uh, I've only known him for about a year and a half. And, imagine um, putting up with this for 10 years. And to be honest with you, in the beginning, I felt bad for the guy, and... You know, I had a little clout, and he was trying to be a DJ, and I'm like, okay, man, well, I mean, I kind of feel bad for you. Of course, you've got some problems, and let's see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, I find it rather remarkable <laughs> that somebody with his conditions can evoke such hatred, you know? Yeah, I, I, I don't, that's what I don't understand, and it's not towards just you know a stranger mm -hmm. the hatred is toward the people that try to help him if you listen to my songs you hear me shout out to blade yeah and we will get into the hatred that this man is capable of displaying but right now we're showing how people immediately feel about him after just dealing with him for a little bit yeah he goes by cyrax now yeah that was the one for me he's Wow, so you started going by Cyrax and then he just stole the Cyrax name from you? I was going to release an album called The Cyrax Complex. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... <laughs> he used to go by Virus, which was oh. also stolen from me. Um, I remember seeing an old video. Uh, I seen it recently. Like, I really dug deep into all this. Um, there's an instant where he threw his dog tags in the lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was that all what was that all about? To be honest, um he was with this crazy 
chick and uh, I don't know they had drama they thought they could make it better without me and he thought his own this is the crazy chick on screen right now and whatever and uh from what I recall uh would, would that woman be Heather yeah yeah fascinating um yeah but so so, sorry, I, I, my attention was diverted for a second. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, yeah, what got him to throw the dog tags in the lake again? Uh, well, he thought he could do better without me. So why would he throw them in the lake, though? Well, they were a symbol of the label. That makes sense. That's a stupid question. And he kind of got mad, threw them in the lake, and said, fuck you, blah 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 and then came back and apologized and this the screen cap i have on screen with the girl is from the video where they apologize for throwing the labels dog tags into the lake and i guess they said they would go get it or whatever the fuck <laughs> God. let's go on a little more i don't have to say anything else i would have made him go back in the lake and yeah. dig out the dog tags you know oh i told him to but uh <laughs> yeah um, but I'm, the song I'm looking for right now, it was stolen about a month ago. Unbelievable. Um, it was, um, if you hear the lyrics, the list, or, uh, when you see the red dot, we want your body drop. Hmm. Me. All right, so we're talking about stealing lyrics now. I think that's about the end of that. Um, that's another thing that the the article went into heavy is that he stole like all of his fucking rap lyrics. We'll get into some of the rap too, and it's pretty funny because the lyrics aren't very useful when you can't understand a fucking word they're saying because they have too many goddamn teeth, too many rows of teeth in the way, too many nephilim teeth. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you though, I, like I literally grew up with people like this. Like, I've known people like this. Like, these, Damn. like, Ohio, like, trash people that want to be, like, like, rappers that live in trailer parks. Yeah, yes. just just think, back in the Civil War, these were the people that wrecked the uh, Southerners. Like, they just, <laughs> they, just <laughs> they just ran down and fucking wrecked the Southerners. Oh. Nah, that's fine, you can talk shit. But no, like, these people are literally, like, genetic garbage. It's fucking terrible. And, so. like, sometimes if you're in a small Midwest town like this, you don't really have to be that good at music. You just have to know how to, like, play it. And yeah. you can, like, well, I could be nice playing downtown it. right now, right now, but I'm not. And I haven't touched my instrument in, like, 10 years, but I could still, like, just get up there because no one else is that can play an instrument. That's Ohio. All right. So Anywhere in the Midwest, yeah. In terms of his finance... He refuses to get work, never held a job, relies on Sally for SSI checks. Sally also got hit by a bus and received a settlement that helped her pay for her family. He does chores in exchange for allowance. In his music career of 15 years, he has made 70 cents. With t-shirt sales, he claims that in his business, he has sold two t-shirts for $60 and has sold two of his CDs recently, but hasn't shipped them out yet. That's like me. Made 70 cents Days. in my streaming career before I got demonetized. So let's go on to a little bit of that classic rage. You know, with the monkeys, the virus. Any of you Bender boys, Jamie, anybody that rolls up to this house <laughs> with the intent to do harm to me or my girl, this is a fair fucking warning. This is not a threat. This is a promise. If you try to do any harm to me or my girl, the results for you will not be very pretty. You will either end up in handcuffs or in a It's understandable. Because, yeah. <laughs> I'm away. Now listen to this. He's talking about fucking murdering people on the internet. He gets a call from his grandmother out in the hallway, probably. He's, no, we gotta listen closely. Anyways, y'all, I'll be right back. Give me just one moment. What did you just say? <laughs> you hear what that? Did you just say? What did you just say in there? You can't hear it now, but he's out there explaining himself exactly why he would kill a man on live stream. Don't 
Imagine getting yelled at for saying obscene things in a live stream. No. Couldn't be me. Matt, is your mom ever mad that you don't support Trump on live stream all the time? Uh, I don't. I don't. We don't live in the same house, so no. Sorry, there, guys. Tell your mom hi. I said hi. I don't know. I'll tell her tomorrow. Doing your mom. So here's the thing, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta end this live stream. We'll My back. mom's yelling at me for fucking Any of you fed posting like a fucking crazy person. It's over, mom. You got it. Have you know, all of his girlfriends are like really fat too. That's, That's just America, dude. There's another one. It's the well, same well, phenotype, well, brother. He's like five he's like five foot, correct? Like four ten Less. something. Yeah. Okay, four ten. But all of his girlfriends are like five six and like two hundred pounds. Like, they this say. nigga is really interested in getting fucking suffocated. What the fuck else do you think he's going to get? He's going to get fat single mothers. I don't know. I don't know what kind of girls that you get with this. I, fat I would be mothers. upset if I'm on stream explaining about how or why I'm going to kill somebody, and then my mom starts yelling at me, and it's like she wants to know why. Well, she should have been watching the fucking stream. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the stream, oh. That's a good point. So, Cyrax constantly rage quits, only to rejoin streams, or make a rap about the troll. His grandmother appears on stream very often to yell at him to calm down. Once she tried to give him a THC gummy to calm him down, which just caused him to freak out more. Oh, occasionally, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> occasionally, he rages at Marty and other trolls for pointing out objective facts, and Cyrax tells people to jump off a cliff and that he is going to kill them. But he is a coward oh, and unable to drive or leave his house. So now we can go to our next video. You never give someone who's that mentally ill THC. It, it can only make things worse for them. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm about to tell you right now. Oh. Let me tell all three of you motherfuckers right now. Oh, this because is good. You three, oh, I almost man. took my fucking life a few minutes ago because of your bullshit bullying. <laughs> you need to quit. How? You were screaming at me earlier and telling me that I- Because you deserve it, you piece of shit! Same Bull thing. pro wrestling, Shut up, Marty! I don't deserve shit! Everything you've done to me- You don't deserve shit. Quit. You need to back off! Enough is enough! You avoid me for six fucking years! The best and part- It's time you grow up! <coughs> Be a man and schmeckle! Shut the fuck up, you We've loser! We've only known you for two years, Cyrax. How is it? Hey, shit? Schmeckle, <laughs> no one's shut known the fuck you for up six years. Shut your mouth, funny, you piece of shit! No one's known you for six years, Cyrax. Shut up, Schmeckle. That's what you don't get. Marty's <laughs> known me longer than you have, no, he has. and I've known him for over three. So trust me. <laughs> Are you so stupid? <laughs> shut your fucking mouth, growling. and Marty. You need to back off! You're a narcissistic psychopath that needs yeah. to fuck off! Dude, this guy is like a 10 out of 10 wrestling promo. Yeah, intense. That's what I was thinking. I love how, yeah. how, how, like, look at his shoulders. Like, they're only as wide as his head. I have a question. Oh, where, do you, where do you think he gets his gummies from? Yeah, his THC gummies probably from the gas station around the corner, and they're Delta. Um, Delta. It's a average hair. Delta smoker. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his hair. Like he's fucking like balding. At, like, God, I think this was like five years well, ago. Dude, he's like, like deteriorating. This guy's fucked up. That's why, like, I don't, I don't, I can't like hate on the dude too hard. I just like reading funny shit. But like, he is a, a it's sad like, individual. It's like if it was like a normal guy and like he was just having like issues or something, but this guy's fucked. This guy's so he's fucking probably, fucked. He could probably a lot more normal if he got his products from CBDX.com. That's true. CBDX. Our, our official, our official sponsor of Tay Peters. 
This man could be a six foot tall Chad, a Giga Chad even, <laughs> if he bought his products. CBDX.com. 15% uh, off. I will post my f- chat below. 5% so, of uh, proceeds go to helping the schizophrenic and manlets. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna start a crowdfund to give Cyrax, this gentleman, chance. Don't, so don't forget. Trailer park. Don't forget the promo code. code. Yeah. Promo, clo- promo code what? Cloaca. What? Yeah. <laughs> promo yeah, code Cloaca. Yes. Oh, all right. Everybody drink. Let's go. Let's go. Not just that shaving just his head, 20 is he? bucks, boys. <sighs> Woo. You still, you still drinking that fucking whiskey that I saw you post? Yes, about? we did it. We got 25 bucks for the <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's move on Love here. Love you guys. Love everybody. So recently, uh, a new type of rage is to show his penis on different people's live streams to get them taken hey, down. It's... So I have the edited edited clip of that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Doro. It's just... edited. Oh. Dude, dude, there's sorry. somebody we know that did the same thing. Who was that guy that did that? Hey, fucking Angus. <laughs> yeah, Pangus. I went on the Waffen house. What's up, Marty? <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch! Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. So, Suck my oh, dick, pussy! He immediately came onto someone's live stream and whipped his cock out. That was the first thing he did. Oh, he Suck my, my dick, Marty. Come back. Get done. And Doro, this is why we can't immediately just let schizos into our fucking Discord. Well, is there an uncut? There probably, I'm yeah. Sure there I'm sure it's around. <laughs> I'm sure he's on Go look side. for it. Go, go look for it. You'll find yeah. it. Wait, You're done, wait, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Suck I my sh- dick. Oh. <laughs> no. Mr. No. Mr. Mr. Oh, Jesus, Cyrix. Where's your silence, man? Hey, 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 bitch. Look, right here. Look. See another here. Look. Look, right here. <laughs> no, Cyrix. Uh, look right here. Come on, bitch. You, you scared, pussy? You scared, I, bitch? I'm you scared, yeah, I'm you scared, scared, never scared, seen one, one of these. Come on, pussy. Scary Come on, look pussy. At. Say he whipped his cock out. You get the idea, everybody. That's, oh, the and that's the thing. It's like we're trying. We want meth heads and schizos in the community, but I can't trust them in my Discord. <laughs> I think it's a risk that the pros far outweigh the cons. Well, it's like I told. Uh, yeah. It's like I told our buddy Yoshi. Like you don't, the, you can't pet the animals. Like just leave them alone. Just let them do the bit. Like That's you can't true. bring them in there. So he yeah, destroys. Really neither. Cyrax destroys equipment with his rage, throwing an ocarina through his wall. Let's cut to that. That's important. Oh no! I've done this before. No, I'm not gonna fucking stop. Stop! You better get that back together. <laughs> He picked up an ocarina, no, threw it I'm through his wall, and his webcam no, fell over. Who's yelling stop? Well, I, it sounds like there's two people there. I think that's one person on Discord, and the other person's probably his grandmother, if I had to guess. His girlfriend, honestly. It's possible, but I think that's his grandmother. Let me. I want to make sure I played this video. I don't, uh, I don't know if I did. Do, man. Okay. That's all you fucking do, man. Listen you sit up shit. on the internet and you try to make everybody else look bad just so you can feel good about yourself, and it's stupid. You need to grow the fuck up. You need to get a fucking life and stop the bullshit, man. Hey, sir, I've been in the music business. What do you do? Dude, you don't have a fucking business, motherfucker. You're a little oh, piece of shit with no fucking job. Yeah, I might not have a job, but it's because of you and everybody <laughs> else. That's why I don't have a job. It's because of Chris Adams in chat holding me down. The trolls. No. What? No, this motherfucker's over here. No, this motherfucker's over here. 
I love this moment. He's talking oh mad God. trash in the internet. Probably grandma comes to the fucking door. And you stop it right now, mister. And he knows he's being recorded. They're, the, his trolls are watching him live, and he has to try to look cool. So he's here rationalizing why he has to sit here fucking rattling off death threats on the internet. Why this is a very important thing, and I am a tough man who is not told what to do with my grandmother. Hey, down here. Nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, Morty. Listen to your mother, Cyrax. Hey, Morty, why don't you go fuck yourself, dude? Nobody wants to hear your fucking mouth, you piece of shit. And guess what, dude? It is because of you that I don't have a job. Because you linked those certain photos of me out to the internet, which I don't know how the fuck y'all got in the first place. You sent them to a woman or how they were working. Shut the fuck up. Because of those photos. No, shut the fuck up, Morty. Because of those photos and because of everything y'all have fucking got me on, or supposedly He's got a me on. He's a Takes command. Yeah. What I'm talking about, bro. Every time I call you out, you yeah. feel like you have to interrupt to be the bigger man. Motherfucker, you ain't the bigger yeah, man. You're five feet tall. Of course I'm the bigger man. <laughs> No, Dude, not. I think we gotta be careful having him on the show. He might take your spot, yeah, no, call. He might. Shut down the internet. Shut down the internet. I don't care. Oh, listen to that guy. Of course, I'm sorry, X. You are not. No, you told me shut down the internet. No, this motherfucker's ruining shit. I don't care. I do. Hey, Marty, what the fuck, Saber? Stop your bullshit. Keep us out of your conversations. Leave me and Heather alone and shut the fuck up and go the fuck somewhere else, dude. Do it. We're tired of your fake ass bullshit, Morty. You're off the fucking internet. No, I'm seeing this dude run his motherfucking mouth. No, I'm seeing this dude run his fucking mouth. No, I'm seeing this. We're tired of hearing it out here right now. Well, I'm tired of hearing it out here right now. I'm tired of hearing it out here right now. Hey, Morty, go fuck yourself, you bitch ass fuck boy. You're a fucking liar, Morty, and everybody knows it, so go fuck yourself. No, he's not shutting it off. <laughs> Shut it off! No, I want to turn it off. Shut it off! You're in trouble now, Cyrex. <laughs> no! 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 Back off! Morty, he's gonna literally miss face is priceless. He's gonna get no fight <laughs> over it. Morty, you are. No, I'm saying this mother. No, get off of it now! <laughs> get off of it no, now! No, no. Get off of it now! Get off of it now! Get off of it now! Get off of it! Get off of it! Take orders from women like a coward. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying this mother. <laughs> no, get the fuck off me, Heather. Heather, get off. Get off of it. No. This is girlfriend. No. Get off of it. I was going to say, yeah. Get off of it. No, I need that. Oh, no, Marty, I'll tell you. No. Shut, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut it up. Marty, I hope you're happy with yourself, you motherfucker. You are a whole lot of piece of shit. Shut it up. Shut it up. I understand that. Shut it up for now. Don't worry, Karma's coming for him. You better tell me. It's so bad. It's way funny, dude. It's funny. They dipped out. He's gone. They shut off the internet. They cut it down. You would fare a lot better. Yeah. You would fare a lot better if he just blew some Delta in his mom's face. So they say between all the rage and throwing shit through the walls, his behavior has cost his grandmother a thousand dollars in repair. Wow, so, that's it. Based. Yeah, exactly. So let's get into some of this evidence of, of him as an artist, as a content creator, as a talented individual. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. What? Here's some singing talent. Oh, boy. Cyrax. It's about as good as Lincoln Park. That's Stilt for sure. Camelos. Oh, no. A sample of his music. I'm vibing. I'm not a child, 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 I'
<laughs> if you haven't figured it out, this is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch doing metal. I guess it's, I guess impressions too. It's another yeah. talent of his. Let's let this finish because it really is worth finishing. Okay, can I get this on iTunes? I'm I think this. so. On Spotify, dude, he'll be very proud of the download. I think. Let's I let should this... follow DJ Saddleblade on. I I love how hardcore it comes on the person <laughs> like the vocals. <laughs> like <laughs> this is it's very worth listening to. There is some funny audio going on here. So let's let this finish. I'm a And it cuts off. Why did you leave that in? That was great. <laughs> cut it the fuck off. We're all sick of it. Is that grandma or? I think so. I can't. I can have no idea. Some fat lady who lives in his house. I have no fucking. So, idea. Honestly, if I had some gremlin in my fucking attic making those sounds, I would tell him to shut the fuck up. I'd go that beat his ass too. Yeah, just just fucking just whip him to death. Is All right, so like I have stink bugs. I have like his, his manga. In the house. His oh, manga on, on screen. Let me see if I can read it. Let me try. Also, I want I want to say real quick. I want to say real quick, somebody in my neighborhood is smoking a deer, and then it smelled really fucking good. Oh, my God. I don't smoke deer. I only <laughs> smoke sausage. Yeah, I know that. All right. So I think this was made by <laughs> some, <laughs> Got him. some manga maker from the internet, but this is some of his art. Now, here he has the the dark-haired mysterious girl and oh, the popular no. girl saying, oh, look, uh, it's the new druggy reject girl with anger issues. Now, I can't help but feel like that's his dream woman, but can you blame him? That is a kind of dream woman right there. It is. She says, what? I'm only being honest after all. Your dad's a deadbeat drug addict. She says, I dare you to say that again. She says, Based. oh, I'm so scared of a druggy pill head whose parents are deadbeat, worthless nobodies. She says, that's it. And she does a fucking Hadouken at some point in these fucking images. But there, there's some of the, as a manga artist, he's pretty talented. Now we can move on to some more videos. Let me check my notes uh, here. We didn't, we didn't see that, though. Yeah, nobody Did you... saw it, bro. I, it, was, it was on the stream. It doesn't matter. It's not that impressive. Like, this is much There's better. like a traffic cone. There's like gonna... a traffic cone. Oh, shit. Nobody at all saw it. I thought just no. you guys didn't see it. All right, well, let me show no. you. This is the manga. As you can see, it's very fucking impressive. Well, but she is a dream soon. girl. Oh, well, whatever, dude. I don't give a shit whether you dream, no, chat, baby. Nobody's going to see it. That, we, that, that was on the stream. Nigga, hit play. Shut up. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> Matt's totally confused. Let's check out his skills as a pianist. I'm not confused. He's a pianist? Yes. Oh, wow. It's Bass. pretty impressive, right? I'm so impressed. <laughs> He's literally hitting random keys. I feel like it should be leading into the angry vibe <laughs> no, I'm dead. This is like experimental music I listen to, to be this honest. This is something Dora would sense. be into, yeah. I guess it it is. I'm. All right, let's hear more of his singing. Oh God! Come on, give it to me. That's because the other Cyrax is the fake. 
I have mine with two X's. I own There's a this name. <laughs> two X's? Hell yeah. He's the real Jimmy Triple X. It's like the Rob Taz WWE versus ECW thing. I've, I've come, come to walk with you again. again. <laughs> <laughs> He's the hot new pop artist of 2021, I can assure you. Uh, we, we got to play this. I, I want him to be in our camp crowd. We'll get him. like Pe Peter Steele from Typo. Yeah, Hayden. he's got a little bit of Peter Steele going on. That's what we'll say. <laughs> little influence, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, I will streets of and cobblestone. cobblestone. Do you guys want to see him rap yet, or are you still enjoying this? <laughs> Let's get to rap. I like his transition from rock to metal, it's like a rock rap metal, or a, a rap metal type situation. of our generation. What's happening? He's got a taxi, bring the book, bring the facts again. Tell them what it's fancy, man. Look at the east side with half the ends. I'm gonna put the motherfucker on the map again. Like, tell them to remember, here's the time to die. Tell them that it's time to another mind. Tell them that hero count. Tell them what the legend they throw with a name. Is this fucking tight or what, dude? White BMX. Yes. Yeah, but he. So he's gonna die? Is that what you're telling me? Where the fuck? I hope so. God damn, this is terrible. Yeah, dog. It's slowed down for some reason. Oh, Let's check out his his skills as a drummer. <laughs> Corn drum co Sog. cover. Yes. We got the coffee tins. We got the the <laughs> cheese right, balls. The cheese, fucking, yeah. the cheese ball container. Tins? It's a cheese ball container like too. Coins. Yeah. No oh, based. Wow. This is awesome. This is post post apocalypse drumming. This is like Fallout 4 drums. <laughs> this is why my shit's not monetizable anymore, because of shit like this. <laughs> but I'll tell you, if the horror cow posting takes off, I won't need that monetization. That's what I promise Hell you, chat. No. Come on, this you love great. shit like this. Just weirdos going about their day. Nothing better. Bye. What's he hitting as a symbol is what I'm wondering. Um, looks, like a tea like the bottom half of a fucking 40 ounce. No, it looks like a, like a tea kettle like a pickle or something. Jar. Okay, maybe it's a tip jar. Yeah. Got like a glue lid on it. Yeah, dude, when I've been drunk and stoned, I would definitely do this. But. <laughs> he looks like he belongs on a ship rowing. In the bow. I can't. I just can't believe that I have more rhythm than he does. That's fucking shocking. Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. We can move on to his next talent if you'd like. His talent as an airbender. Are you ready? I can't. I can't wait to see him at a do a death match. He's actually oh, a formidable no. fighter. Oh wait. Yeah, you see him fucking wait, fire coming can... right out of his hands. It's fucking shocking. <clears throat> That's flame. not real, is it? Yeah, I think it is confirmed. No, this is real, actually dude. this is one hundred this is one hundred percent real. Dude, this actually it. occurred in real life. This is awesome. It's not just gifts of fire. That's the real thing. And you wouldn't want to mess this with man. this man. He'll put you six feet under. You fuck with him online. This man is insane. This almost looks like a video from fucking Russia. <laughs> Kinda does. Kind of. Alright. So is he have a culture more hair in his head? <laughs> I don't he gets think these he has that much gummies, I think. Let's okay. So you could you could pick them up and snap them over your knee, easy. You could if you would fucking break the bat like that. Yeah, I, I like to think he lives in a dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Little Barbie playhouse. Yeah, he's so a Barbie girl. <laughs> let's check out his skills as a dancer. This is maybe my favorite. 
I love this. Yo, Rare skinwalker yo. sighting. Like Dude, if I get shut down, it's because of whoever fucking shit. did this song. <laughs> fucking. This, bro. So, fuck it. <laughs> and this is his best God talent. Damn. This is definitely his best talent. But it's full, it does better at this than full on Texas sure. Chainsaw Massacre sure. vibes. He's like a cyber god. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's like he has those like Jew curls. Orthodox. He's orthodox. It's it's orthodox. 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 <laughs> Can anybody else dance this good in the call? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not have a dance off with them. Dude, this is way better. Than I agree. Like some taekwondo comments. Battle But this is almost impressive compared to all the other stuff. Yeah, this kind of is. It's a little bit. It's just disgusting, but he can't help that. Uh, has he thought about getting on TikTok? I mean, he, he would thrive. He would blow up on TikTok. He would thrive uh, on TikTok. He, yeah, yeah, he would take off. But if he's like posting shit like this, he should know Dantward. He basically <laughs> is yeah. Dantward. Die. I like, like that worm that he I know. could not pull <laughs> He almost did the worm. He's like the slug. Well the slug. <laughs> the slug. The mullet. The only thing he knows what he's doing with. Like, everything else, he has no idea what he's fucking doing. But that had, like, some coherency to it, I yeah, think. Yeah, no, He understands I'm... the music. God, it's so creepy. This is just, like, the still you saw. This is the video you're about to watch. You don't know it's going to break out into a sweet fucking, like, dance session. You're like, what the fuck, dude? He had to do it to him. I like that. <laughs> he <laughs> to do it to him. He had to do it to him. Break with the best of them. All right. So we can't make fun of him too hard because the fact of the matter is he could also kick our asses all at the same time. Here's his MMA prowess, I think. This is just crazy. What are you talking about? This is not cyber. It's false advertising. Wrapping up them gloves. He is ready for a fight, and he's ready for Music Biz Marty. He's ready for any trolls who drunkenly honk in his driveway. He will oh. take care of business, and he will get arrested after the fact, and the cops will let him off for being a weird little retard guy. <laughs> I am intimidated. I, I love I love how his chest is like is going inward as an hour. He clearly has bird. developmental issues. Like he didn't grow at a certain point. Kofi Kingston moment. Oh uh, yeah, play the abdomen. What was he about punch a mattress up against the wall? Was I have that? no idea, but it's disgusting. That's for it's sure. a dilapidated wall, is what it is. It looks yeah. like somebody like, cummed and bleeded on that mattress. It's the cum wall. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's his fist, bro. It's the cum wall. He's a hardcore trainer, MMA fighter. Wow, oh, Cyrax, punch the cum wall, please. Let's go. <laughs> punch the cum oh, wall. Oh, look at that stance. Look at that stance. Yeah, well, the is, he ever, is he ever gonna do anything? He's gonna do he's the trying break. here, bud. Wait, don't push him. Give him too a second. Hard. Oh, he's shadow boxing. Good shadow boxing. Look at that. He, he, he's, he's very cocky. You That's see, you know Franklin. why he's so yeah. good at shadow boxing? Because he's a shadow person. He's, he's a shadow, shadow blade. blade. Did you see that fucking Look kick, dude? <laughs> he pulled off. Look at that back wrist. Got him. Is he just hitting concrete? We haven't figured what? that out yet. We thought it was I a cum was mattress. mattress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see it. Yeah, God, okay. It's, it's, it's cum wall. This is your average uh, Eminem fan. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm intimidated. Hey, don't talk about Ohio. Chuck. But he is in Ohio. You're right. Now yeah, imagine <laughs> that kicking... It. Connecting with your front teeth, your fuck, dude. <laughs> this man is Joe Rogan-esque. You punch Even him and you just get compact. hooked on six rows of teeth. Uh, look, look at his Nephilim powers coming forth. 
Jesus, I wasn't thinking about that. You punch him in the teeth, your hand is fucked too, because you're gonna- Your hand is degloved. God damn. It's over. Yep, you're done. This, this man is unstoppable. Chat's saying they see the Virgin Mary on that cum wall. Well, the cum Mary. Not for long, not for long with Cyrus. <laughs> Guys, if you have stigmata on your cum wall, uh, make sure to send it to us. <laughs> Look at those beautiful hooks. As soon as he's done, <laughs> as soon as he's done fighting, he's just gonna come on it. Those, all those connections. Yeah, it's all the. Don't you always come after a good fight? He's, he's had a 55 hit combo on the cum wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna hit his level three super very soon. He's about to use his ultimate. <laughs> One, two. Alright, let's move to the next next video that shows his prowess. Oh, face. Yeah, more more fisticuffs to come. Oh, no, there's two of them? Yeah, that's the, that's the scariest part of all of this. There's two of them. Oh my god, there's two of them. How can... He's, here's how not Dog afraid... And Magog. <laughs> Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. You think he's afraid of you? He's not afraid of himself. He'll fight himself. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, who are you? I asked you first. Noah, let's fight. Come on! I'm afraid! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this man is literally using Street Fighter music. I am popping so hard. Never. Great. Not a single one of those punches have hit the other guy. Great. Well, that's because they're, they're evenly they're so matched. They're so intense. They're so. They're so evenly matched. No, he's so based. No, he's so based. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's why I said he's the chosen one. If there was four of them, this world would end. Can you imagine? I can't. Oh, oh total tendies. <laughs> Toltendi says Cyrex and Skeletor. Sector. 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 Oh, Sector. Dude. Sector. <laughs> From fucking Mortal Kombat. Dude. They were the yeah. androids. This man is a traitor. Combat. All I'm Disgusting. ever gonna say if it's like I see this guy out in public, we're about to cross paths. I fucking hope his grandma's gonna I be there. I walk the me. other way. <laughs> I run. I. I would, the other I would force him to test his yeah. fighting skills. Do you, do you think he's a stand user? Of course. Yeah, he definitely is, dude. There's two of them mm. right now. That's a stand. Very clear. Stand? Clean. I don't know. He can barely get out of the chair. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about uh, our guests. That's not sure he can dance. He's a fucking dancing boy. It's fucking awesome. So, how about this? I also have okay, him no. as, as an actor. This man is so genius. Oh, this. Here we have another one of his his girlfriends who fits the phenotype fucking perfectly. Today we're talk we're gonna be talking about. He has like fifty of them. So There's this no way see, this is a film, a short suicide. film, a short film she made about suicide. Young adult. Or anything. Like, <laughs> it disappears. <laughs> so generous. <laughs> so kindly. So you're not gonna believe what I just walked in on just coming home from class. It was Cyrax doing his MMA training. Dwayne killed himself. He killed himself. The Rock. <laughs> All right. The so rock. let's look at what what led up to this mess. Well, why did he kill himself? Here's, <laughs> here's our boy Dwayne. It's Cyrax playing the part. He just transformed. <laughs> I don't want to look at this thing anymore. He's playing the part of a very dejected man. Hell. It's very upset. This man can reincarnate. Can can someone ever stop him? I guess his idea of acting is just rubbing the bed bug bites on his head. <laughs> this is why I believe in abortion. I don't want to play this whole thing, but there are funny parts. No, Matt. He must live. Later that evening. So he was a very no, sad is... boy. He was, now watch, watch, watch. He was a very no. sad He's better boy. editing skills than me. The lady comes home. Oh, man. Oh, God. Why did closet door be open? Did he kill himself? He kill himself again? Finally. It was the trolls. They sent They saw the rope. They sent him. Did it. Did the bit. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's my reaction every time I find a dude who kills himself. Every every time you stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise he makes. So she found Cyrax in the closet, strung up by his belt or something, jerking off, I think is what they're getting at. Did he fly? I hope he flopped. Look at this. Now, okay, there, this is acting. But I, if he really flopped on the ground like this for the team, look at this. No, 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 no. No, 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 What? Feels like, what? feels like flop. Do you see that shit? What the hell is you this? think he really flopped on the ground? He <laughs> hung himself in the closet. They just have a terrible camera angle, because all you can see is your fat ass. <laughs> you go, boy. Nice. He died. I, I was just sins. looking at that. I was, I was just looking at that. I was just like, dude. So hold I can't imagine this guy like pork and that. No, that we'll get into that too. Actually, well, hold on. Uh, that's his girlfriend. Like he's like yes. a bumblebee to a fucking. Clean, it's like climbing, it's, it's like scaling sexual, Mount Everest every time. Wow. Sexual dwarfism at Stop, That's my view of the world. <laughs> <sighs> all right, all right. So where are we here? Now, Chance started to get noticed by a few trolls. Imagine that, due to his large body of quote unquote work. And the voicemails with Candle Smith, Music Biz Marty, and the Bender Boys. Uh with the voicemails with Can Candle Smith, who was someone who was on a stream who um who was like defending him at first and then he made advances toward and got shot down, and then he would leave like raging voicemails. Pretty much like the rages you heard previously, just like that. Hey. So then Music Biz Marty and the Bender Boys, who were the people trolling him, create an elaborate prank of embracing Cyrax's desire to become the next big rapper. And he competed and competed for Cyrax's contract. He gets signed, quote unquote, by the Bender Boys. His reaction to getting signed, uh, note that, now I'll play this in a second. Note that he has never met his stepkids and the record companies are fake. This is the celebration stream. And mm. at the end, he forgets to end streaming and leaves a random dude in his live stream. Let me play this real quick. And another one we don't have to watch all of, but it's definitely... Now, look at this demeanor. This is a confident man. A man who's proud of himself after is... getting, getting signed to a fake record label. This he looks like... Just like Postal Dude from Postal 2. He looks like me and uh, uh, Black Bear and when we were our he little jackets and sunglasses. Me and this dude right the here. fusion ha of us. We got some dope shit dropping for your fucking ear holes. You hear how nice. ready he is? So yeah, he's on stream looking Ooh, very happy. Yo, that shit's gonna be... At the end, let me see if I can pinpoint this. <laughs> what the hell's going on there? I'm skipping. It was I'm like skipping. Matrix glitching. Tyler's asleep. Yeah. So, watch this. This is Cyrax's hey, stream. Hey, y'all got here. I'll catch he's... all you crazy fucks later on, man. He bowed a head out. Please. Later on, man. Later. Now we sit here looking at this fucking vampire anime Abby, still streaming, just leaving this guy on here. I think he proceeds <laughs> to be to be boring and talk shit for the next like half hour, which we won't really listen to. But I think it's funny. <laughs> it says that I'm still alive. What the fuck? I'm gonna usually end it or something. All right. So in the next video, this is when. <laughs> he, they break the news that the Bender Boys sold his contract to Music Biz Marty. Oh God, I wasn't. Was I even showing? Let's show the the chat because I got so many videos. I keep getting fucked up here, but I want to show you, fucking uh, Cyrax at his I happiest. Get that BBR patch. As soon as I get that shit, that's going right on the back of this motherfucking jacket, son. You want to know why? Because these guys gave me the opportunity that no one else did. These guys did something that nobody else did. They took me on and gave me a real chance to make real money. All right, so I think everybody gets the idea there. And let's go to the next video where his contract gets sold. Yo, I said we were to say, I made a video explaining. Like, Yo, Cyrax, I got up? an announcement to make. What's up, dude? Um, well, the video's not doing as well as we thought it was going to. Yeah. And, uh... Speaking with the, the the team here at Bender Boys Records, um, they deemed you unmanageable. How? And then uh, we had to sell your we had to sell your contract, man. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? 
Yeah. We Are you <laughs> no, dude. We sold You're it this morning. What about this shit? Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, the video didn't perform as well as we thought it was going to. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I put in all that hard work for nothing. Are you serious right now? Well, we we, we sold serious? we sold the contract. Bro, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you're stupid, so man. The what the fuck, man? I put in all that. The Bender Boys sold him to Music Biz Marty, and these are fake, fake labels. All, all fake labels. Huh? Yeah, they're all fake labels that are just messing. <laughs> but you're not like, like this. This is so funny. Like this remind. It's not like I him actually like physically meeting it, but this reminds me of like, um, Chris Chan when they sent his ass to Cleveland. Well, it's it's very, it's very similar to Chris Chan in a lot of ways. It really uh, is. This is yeah. this is going to be Matt when you sell his contract to TRS. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That'll be well, we, so, we sold your contract, so you're still behind. <laughs> fuck you, and fuck the Bender Boys. I'm doing this shit on my own. And he never did anything. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll move to the next video. This is his reaction to these events that have just unfolded. We've got Bobby Hill on stream. Nice. Is he milking it, or is he really that upset? Is he really? I think I he's fake. He's trying to cry this. for YouTube because this is a video know. that's supposed to be him crying. Reasoning? I don't know if he's actually crying in any of this. He's just fucking pity posting. I don't know why you can't sniffle. Me and What's that? I heard a little bit of a why sniffle. This might be alone? maybe. You doing this Playing sick it up, shit? Definitely. This is sickening. And he might have a point. You think what you're doing is right, but it's not. You yeah, know, that's, that's why I'm man. confused. Well, <laughs> he's just a sad individual. That's what happens when you're a retard on the internet, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Does he care about that? Max. What's that? I, I, I don't it, think he cares about that, though, despite knowing that. I, I think I've like... never been a partaker in, in lol cows. I don't like get in the way of him and try to make content, but I... I love looking at them as like a sociological experiment. I really like that. I like watching freaks be freaks just on the internet in their spare time. It, it, so. it seems like when when he's like in this mode, like there there is like a lot more. I don't know uh, how to really describe it, but humanism. Like the, there's a you're lot saying, more. You're trying to find humanity within his little yeah. body. I mean, like he's like the way he's like confronting it is like this is bad, this is wrong, all this stuff. Uh, but like yet again, like when he's not in this mode, it seems like he's like yeah, he's Chris trying Chan to be mode. a tough guy. Well, this yeah, thing, yeah. All, he, all he does is feed the trolls. That's what makes him a lol cat. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is actually his least human moment. Despite I think all this of is that, acting. I think this is he knows this is it. and this is better acting than in the short film. But it's acting. I think when he's flying off the handle, it's probably the real him. Yeah. But if you're that's that it. fucked up, I also can't blame you for that. So it is what it is. What is that hat you're wearing? My floppy it's hat? Rasta. It's not a Rasta, it's Rasta. hat. It's Korean. It's, it's, a it's a slouch cap <laughs> with a brim. Most slouch yeah. caps don't have brims. This one does. This fucking guy. It's yeah, he's got to hide the toupee somehow. I've got a big fucking head, and this is the only one that fits me. My big floppy hat. It don't matter. So, supposedly, Cyrax is abusive towards Heather, his girlfriend, and can be heard seemingly hitting her and then taking her phone Ooh. away. Let's cut to this. Video. What? Uh, let's Stop. check it out. You be the judge, my dude. You're the one watching. Let's get now. So... The stupid fucking music is not me, and it fucks up the whole video, but you'll get the idea. I hate... Yeah. There's just no reason for it. How are you blocked? It's because these trolls are really bad at making videos and streaming, and basically making content at all. They're not very good. The lol cow does just fine without them. I can't comment on your channel at all. I tried to comment, and it disappeared, so... Somebody blocked me on your channel. Um, probably because you guys are over there running your fucking mouth. 
Actually, all I said was that uh, they were talking about on, what's that dude's name? Duplex City Block, talking about how you were a spy for us. So, I was out of Hi. No. no. Here we see a tussle ensuing while his girlfriend is on stream with somebody else. It seems uh -huh. like Cyrax rolls up and he starts acting fucking shady. So let's watch what happens. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, Rachel. How you doing, bitch? Shocking. V, look, she can't even talk. So Cyrax takes the phone and it gets shut off. Allegedly, he hits her, but you think you'd be listening for audio of that or something, but it's just shitty music playing. So I don't know about that. Uh, Conrad says, uh, rest in peace, uh, Jamie, Nicole. Did this fat hell die? I have no, no goddamn idea. It doesn't matter. You know Maybe. something, Conrad? All right, Pete, dude. So because of that, people who are watching the stream called the cops. Let's check this out. Just a quick update, guys. More police showed up at the Cyrax residence. All right, whatever, 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 whatever. They don't have our address, so... Oh my oh, god, the music's quite too loud. Um, <laughs> Heather? I know, they fuck Heather. everything up. And then you do the Pennywise voice. Don't say shit. We're streaming. Let me see. Hold on. There's Cyrax oh being a fool. <laughs> yeah. I love how Cyrax is just like, no, this is kind of, I'm gonna roll it back. I've, I've gone oh, too God. far. Now the cops are here. Y'all. Yeah. What's up? Bro, I'm gonna talk like, I'm gonna talk to them using pity wine. Yeah, so it's not domestic violence. You can talk to our friends. They know nothing. Yeah, we can confirm. Imagine the cops mm. come to your door after being called for domestic violence and you put the a fucking screen in their face and be like, talk to our friends on Discord. Yeah, like, what are the cops thinking? They're, they're like, fuck all these retards. I wish I could arrest all of them. And not the people on Discord. They don't care for shit. The people on Discord aren't there. So... Get fucked, retards. There's no domestic violence going on whatsoever, so... There's no domestic... <laughs> and you have motherfuckers on Discord being like, there is no domestic violence going on. Like, shut up, Discord retards. Holy shit, dude. Don't talk... Unreal, dude. You know called you? You need to fucking... You need to, you need to trace that number back and get them for a false report. ASAP. Because otherwise... Because they're violating the law by you filing a false report right now. Oh, like that I other dude's already trying to leave. The, uh, the fucking Discord is telling the cops how to do their job. Yeah, it's, <laughs> dude, like, I'd want to slap that, really... that out of their fucking hands if I was that cop. Lord. My God, I'd be so pissed. I have family in law. Used to sit on the phone. What happened was they actually, and y'all might want to keep an eye on this. They did actually. <laughs> the dude's say, name who keeps calling his name is Rufus. And he did threaten. Where's he stay? We're not. We don't know. Who's Rufus? Who is he? He's who is who are these online imaginary people who you who are you think are <laughs> harassing you? You fucking schizo, basically. Rufus. <laughs> it's clearly it's clearly very obvious. He goes by music just Marty on YouTube and all that. I, I know, I get it, but I mean, we're, we're not we're or, no. is he we around? Don't, we don't know where he lives, but we can. I can. I can have. I can probably have some friends help me out with that situation. Or, there you go. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. basically, what's been going on is that at one point they actually did threaten that her out of here. Which was yesterday. Yeah, I don't know where you live. I'm from Mississippi. Know. I know. They, uh, do you know what doctrine is, right? Basically, they, they, uh, they fucking just, clue. You you know what yeah, doxing no, is, like, right? Or do they have a clue, damn. or are they just trying to get information because they think these people are schizos? I hope they're yes. trying to get information, but the thing is, like, this content still exists, so, uh, I guess maybe the cops are that stupid. I do believe cops are stupid. I don't doubt that for a second. Uh, I found out, I guess they hacked his system or whatever and got his address that way. And we were They lost. What they did is they, what they did is they basically did a basic hack. <laughs> that guy's the IP, face. And they freezes. Said they hacked, they did. Uh, you see that guy's, the officer's face. Yeah, right, right where it froze. <laughs> the fucking cops probably fucking slapped it out of their hands at that point. 
Let me see if there's any more. Found the information console. through the IP address. It's actually a very complicated friggin' situation. It's a very complicated situation. Heather, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. What did they say because you froze and lagged out at the end? Um, well, so what happened was the freaking inner, it, the Wi Fi on the computer switched to some other dog Wi Fi. Who gives a shit? Yeah, the cops showed up. That's funny as fuck, dude. Good lord. Fantastic. I want to, like, for stuff like this, like, we should be demanding from the authorities what they're thinking. I would, I know. Like, I, I've been in, around enough crackheads and schizos to, like, yes, this is what they're going to be like. Oh. I want to know what their authorities, like, how they justify uh, not doing their job. Well, the, don't they people. write uh, police reports after? Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's so, nothing like, to be done is. in this case, is there? What, what yeah. can you do? Well, he's, like, been since childhood, like, uh, a criminal, and, like, the state knows that this person exists, yet they are literally not doing anything, despite knowing and classifying him as um, Do you want, do you want him institutionalized? Uh, I don't know. Like, it's that's the thing. But there is somebody whose job it is to figure that out, and I can tell they're not oh. doing anything. I I like I got in a discussion with uh with, with like a mental health person recently and they they gave me some enlightening things that um basically back in the day uh Spears what you're saying and advocating for was pretty much protocol but ever since uh back in I think it was the 80s they deinstitutionalized de mental health Mm -hmm. As in, they, and so basically, like, you, they have to be will. they have, the person, the subject, the person that needs to be inst institutionalized needs to say, oh, I need to go in. They have to go in on their own volition. Like, that's, uh, that's what they always said, well, right? Like, yeah. Reagan Which fucking shut down all the mental institutions. Yeah. Now that's yeah. the way it is, right? Unless yeah. you commit a crime, though, then you're in yeah, the yeah. system. And the thing is, like, there's people who don't have this going on and it would be normal if that system wasn't targeting them and arresting them because like they just do heroin or cocaine sometimes but if this it weren't would for the government institutionalized i'm, I'm with you in exactly some and so but he has committed like a sex crime before what? right is that um uh, we're gonna get to that? that we're gonna get to that uh, not, ex not exactly uh, we're gonna get to that Let's get to the next video. Better times with his girlfriend. The good times. Yeah, it's not a solid bed. Call me again and watch what happens. There he is. There's a fucking celebratory moment between man and woman. Yeah, it's they not get a solid. high five. Cyrus gets his high five. He's expecting solid a little bed. more here. Call me again and watch what happens. Call me again and watch what happens. <laughs> Nah, His faces are great. <laughs> <laughs> she coughs and spits up in her mouth a little bit. Let's <laughs> oh. watch it in real time again. Oh, God, dude. Nah, it's making me schizo just watching this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> They should put any shit like this on the internet should be criminal. Then I wouldn't have any content left. So let's, uh, actually, let's cut to their breakup, because I actually have that, too. Oh, no, they broke let's... up. Oh, you know what? I'm, we're not there yet. We're getting there. We're halfway. Hey, They're not legit contracts. He signed you... it. No, he signed it. the contract. Here we have classic rage. We have them raging about the the music labels that they have at this point figured out were all a sham. And their anger anger is boiling over. Maybe at each other? They have a signed copy. He physically signed. He physically signed. Yes. They have a signed copy. Ask them for it. We have. Hey, chill, chill. I've told hey, yo, them dude, I to something. contact Mel and John with, with the actual contract. What? Guess Hard what, dude? I've done my fucking research, and because the vendor boys are not a legitimate record label, that contract 
was fucking void. I know where they got that fucking contract from. It wasn't legit. You should not be allowing them to see this way. Shut the fuck up, both of y'all, for five fucking (laughs) minutes. Yelling at Cyrax now. You shouldn't be allowing this. Shut up and you shut up. (laughs) Both of y'all motherfuckers shut the fuck up for a second. Marty. Hey, Jamie, you need to fuck Jamie, hold on. Hush, (laughs) yes. Why is it whenever we start going up, you keep fucking going bringing up? Us Where do you think you guys are going? Except for him oh going in the hills to have eyes remake. Where do you think you right, fucking bro? going? I'm a freak that a bitch. Damn. I know you're fucking freaking a little bit of fucking internet bully like your face. No, so you're an asshole and an internet bully. You just threatened my son. And you called my son a faggot. I'm not talking about your family. I'm saying he keeps saying his brother's dead every time I talk to you guys. It's the no day respect. he died. So what is it, Heather? Because you tell the truth, he doesn't. Fuck yourself, you little bitch. What? I can't even talk to her like a normal person. What? Give me a fucking knock your ass out. He screamed at Cyrax and he fucking, he almost hit her. Instead, he fucking smashed the door. Damn no. Let's watch that. Again. The truth, he does it. Fuck yourself, you little bitch. What? I can't even talk to her like a normal person. What? <laughs> Hit me. Hit me and I'm fucking not. Yeah. What? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, magnificent, what? even. Couldn't be me. Not these days. Well, that's the thing is that uh-uh. a person like this is basically, they haven't like gotten past like age 18 in their mind like nothing's developing on him including his brain yeah this just makes me sad it doesn't make me sad i love watching this shit what what if i gave him uh lsd i think you'd have a great time you (laughs) know that's this is literally what the cia does to some people (laughs) it's for you flame Sorry. So, like, so, like, I give it to him, and then, like, he, he becomes, like, super intelligent. <laughs> it's like, his life turns around. Starts floating into the sky, just... Shh, yeah. Based. Yeah. The, the real, real energy. <laughs> the real, all the over out. Right, he turns let's... into Megamind. We can move <laughs> on. Megamind. <laughs> we can move on to the breakup, the epic climax and downfall. And she eats pizza at him like a <laughs> fucking chad. So to everybody watching, I do apologize for this, but I do need a break away from my girl. I'm done. I cannot handle the stress. I cannot deal with this anymore. I'm done. Peace. This piece of good is what she says. That's a fucking keeper, dude. That's a keeper. All right, let's... uh... I want her to be my GF. No, I'm taking her. Heather had her brother. I think that was Heather. I'm totally... I'm confused at these women, but they all look exactly the same, and they're probably interchangeable. So Heather Uh, and... It's Heather, yeah. Heather had her brother. Yeah, they call her Heather. Heather. Heather had her brother... Michael Crocker to come and get her, which caused Cyrax to try and stop Heather from leaving. As a result of this, Chance, who is Cyrax, punches Crocker three times and a police report was filed. And I think this was dropped because he's retarded or something. Yeah, probably. Now, in it- they, were, they were like, um, like hitting like a fucking. Every time he punched them, it was like a squeaky toy. Maybe. Like, maybe. <laughs> so we haven't even gotten into the juggalo <laughs> angle on this. Cyrex oh, is a, a juggalo. And that's something I can identify with a little bit. I got Dang the t-shirt it. on rocking right now. Fuck yeah. Um, so the thing is, he was immediately called out by some people for the lulls that he was a fake juggalo. You guys wouldn't know anything about being a fake juggalo, would you? I would. No, I'm down with the clown until I'm... I'm a real juggalo. I'm down with the clown until I'm underground, dude. I started talking about the the gathering with him. Like we said, he's he's from Ohio. He's from Akron. Fucking, he's he's a white rapper. He's into Juggalo shit. I want to hang with this dude. Let's uh, let's yeah, see well, how well, he did. Real quick, hold on, yeah, real quick. What up, what up, what up. Before I continue, everyone north of Dayton and Ohio is gay as fuck. So take that as you will. Based. So they're let's, all gay. Now, he, let's move on to his time on the Juggalo Game Show to check his knowledge of Juggalo lore. Oh, hell yeah. 
This could have been us. I, mean, I might have to skip around this a little bit. This literally could have been us. ...in non-juggalos to this shit. And I'm gonna go ahead and name a name right now. Cyrax. This is head juggalo who's angry that Cyrax is part of the community, and he is not a juggalo. I'm sick and fucking tired of hearing his fucking name. And honestly, when I see all my homies and all my people that I truly love and care about put down for because they're my juggalos and my fucking actual family. When I see these people talking nothing about Cyrax. Blah blah blah. The dude gets him on his uh, on his show to to ask him questions about the Juggalo community. So let's see. Yo, dude, your mic cut out, bro. I can't hear you. I and right. hey. <laughs> Yo, right, dude, right. your mic cut out, bro. I can't hear you. I am heading down another trail. Oh, Where am is... I going? To help you don't change your ways. Chicken hunting. Chicken yeah. hunting. So I was just curious what. What album did you? What was your first album that you got into the clowns? Believe it or not, dude, it was probably I'm trying to think. I want to say either Jekyll Brothers or Riddlebox. I can't remember which one it was that got me in. It so what? Of, what did the cover look like? Really, dude? Do you know how many fucking years it's been since I've listened to that shit? Well, for example, <laughs> no juggalo would say that. Box, it's a face really, coming up out really, of a riddle box, right? Really, dude, you're gonna really pull that shit, bro. Jekyll <laughs> Brothers. You can't get mad because you do because. If it's Jekyll Brothers, it's the face with the flames around it, right? Yeah. Okay, so most people came yeah. in on Malenko, right. given the fact that you're uh, 29 and you were born in 90. Yeah. So the Great Malenko came out in 1998, which means you were only eight years old at that time. And yeah. the Riddle Box was before that, right? So yeah, chances yeah. are you came in with something that was more current yeah, to your time was, period. Yeah, but see, this is what happened though. I was introduced to the older stuff before the newer shit. Sounds good. So Doro said that this was literally us at the gathering explaining to people why we were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, think yeah, I had a better totally. story than that. Yeah, I had a better story, but whatever. Sounds good. But so let's just go. You basically introduced me to like a lot of the older shit, and then I went back when I listened to a lot of the newer stuff, like some of the new stuff by like Boondocks and stuff like that. All right. So let's go with the, your first album was the Jekyll Brothers because that's a later album, yeah. right? That was 1999. So, what's your favorite song on that album? Do you remember? Nah, dude, I haven't listened to that album in a while. I'd have to go back and listen. Alright. Uh, like, like, what, what, what are you getting at here with this shit, dude? Like, what I, you... I, I was just curious. Would anybody in here do better on this quiz than he did? No. I would do significantly worse. <laughs> I would do better. I could bullshit my way through uh, this yeah. way better. I, I think I'd do I'm pretty decent. Apple, no. Oh, on that album about Juggalos, does it have that one song where they're, uh... Homies! Like, you're out of the fucking what? Juggalos. Dude, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm done. Get down. Get out I, I do want to finish this video, because it's, it's worth finishing. So. And it's like, because, you know, the Juggalo community means a lot to me personally. And so I'm just curious as to, like, what, what part of it you identified with the most. So, like, do, what is your favorite like, song like I, overall? Well, I, like I said, dude, like... I wasn't like really drawn in like music wise, I mean, yeah I was, but not in that aspect. I was more drawn in through like the community aspect, you know what I'm saying? This is literally so, just you know, have a favorite song? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's no. me, motherfucker. <laughs> Except I no, named no. the album that, that I liked as a fucking kid when I was listening to Juggalo shit. It was the Wraith Shangri La. I could probably name two two songs. Blam. Uh, I think that's one of the songs. Uh, the unveiling. The world. That's where they said they follow God, and they've always been behind him. The carnival is God, and may all juggalos find him. Hey, it's so, like, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! No, I put. Okay. Okay, you guys listening to this? Did you take a shower last night? Is what he gets asked from off screen. Have a favorite yeah. song? Because he likes. To... Yeah. So, He's like, a real juggalo. Yeah. Oh, fuck, no, I completely forgot. Well, too late now. That's okay. 
So like, okay. believe it or not, the That's one okay. artist that actually got me into him, it really wasn't ICP. It was, like it was ICP to a certain extent. God but like it was mostly through like Boondocks and Twisted that I actually got into him. Like I said, right. like I heard like a little bit of like, you know, ICP's older stuff, but I got brought in through, you know, a different way, which was like through Boondocks, ABK and all of them. So you don't really have a lot of knowledge on ICP. You're you're more yeah, like it, psychopathic in general. Exactly, exactly. Like I don't have like that knowledge of like that like entirely, but I'm mostly like I'm kind of one of those people that's kind of like an in general kind of thing, you know. So uh, what do you think of general, the new uh, ABK stuff? It's me. Do you remember what it was called? I haven't actually <laughs> really gotten into the new stuff yet, surprisingly. <laughs> So, like, wanted, what, what's wanted, your favorite ABK album? I don't know a fucking single yeah, ABK song. So Got me, I don't even brother. know what that is. Oh, dude. Uh, sorry to say it, dude, but you're starting to sound like that Danny boy. So, I. You got so, like Avenged Sevenfold? Is. No, I don't Damn, think that's what he was turned. trying to do. I think. You gotta get that's Danny boy. Like, though, you know? He well, thinks no, he's trying to get that. one up it's on him. That, People do take this community and the lifestyle of being a juggler very seriously. You're damn right. right. Like, so you people like, take it so seriously like, to the juggles. point that it's offensive to them if you yeah, I'm don't so know offended certain by all things this. because they think you're right, pretending. I said you're a pretty well, violent. violent. What to do? I don't know if any juggalos that yeah, I've yeah, met yeah. And actually like offended said, by that. that. They'd be like, hey, homie. No, they're literally just mocking him. The chat wants to know if you can name the first six Joker's cards. And do what, man? Can you name the six Joker's cards? The first I can deck? do that. Okay, <laughs> do it. Do it, nigga. Reaches deep within his frontal lobe. Yeah, God, name all the Joker's cards. Carnival of Carnage. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know if I can do it in order. Great Malenko, Riddle Box, uh, Jekyll Brothers, The Wraith. What am I missing? Ring later. Shit, no. This motherfucker's on to us. Yeah. What are we gonna do? What the fuck? Let's He's tell like him he can't kid. hear what the fuck he's saying. This is his brain. His empty ass brain. You're gonna tell him. <laughs> he knows he's been caught in case 22. Dude, like, your audio is cutting out real bad. What's <laughs> going on? He found Hold his on. clever way out of it. Can you name the first six Joker's cards? <laughs> hold on, dude. I'm gonna have to restart the stream, man. I can barely fucking hear you, bro. Here, hold on. I'll leave and come back. Ringmaster. Shit. Not Ringmaster. Wow. Got this one guy. That's like day one shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he did it. He got out of it. He said he couldn't hear so good, and he got out of the question. Oh God, I can't hear so good. <laughs> well played. Yes. Well played. So, uh, <laughs> Cyrax tries to get on with the Me Too movement. Uh, and says Blind Billy sexually assaulted him as a kid. Marty co Marty oh. contacted Blind Billy on Facebook and did a stream with him. It is revealed that Cyrax lied about it. We can go to this video. I might just say fuck it and give you a spoiler for it. Let's That's see what because happens. this was during the night. Yeah, this is um, weird. That oh, this is worth listening um, to. So it was it was about probably I want to say maybe early spring, maybe late spring, if not early fall. I can't remember unfortunately with that. But my room always got really warm during the summertime. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we were up in my room, you know, it was late at night, probably 12, 1 o'clock on a weekday. Um, and, you know, when, when it gets hot, you know, guys tend to take off their shirts and everything, you know, that kind of stuff, just to keep cool. Sure. So I did that, you know, didn't really think much of it. it. You know, it was just... Keeping cool. Normal. And it's very cool. Um, yeah. If I were, yeah, I do. Scarily. Um, sorry about the details being a little. No, fun, no, so. dude, Yeah, that's more than fine. Um, but you know, I just remember, um, I was either on my belly on the floor, or I think I was searching for something. And the next thing I know is. I'm in a doggy style position and basically uh, my 
my pants and underwear come off, or at least down to the ankles. And Oops. he basically what? gets behind me <laughs> and just starts rubbing yeah, himself, once here. himself it's been on my ass, basically. No penetration. What? But I want to say it was probably just a way to get himself erect. Who, who the hell knows? Um, and then he flipped me onto my back, or at least moved me onto my back, and ended up sucking and jerking me off until I ended up uh, ejaculating. And uh, he seemed Sorry. to have enjoyed no. that because when I was about ready to ejaculate, he had said something along the lines of, oh, yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, there's, there's, Nick, you just got a lot to process. What the um, fuck? So first off, what? So he pulled your pant to his ankles and he started rubbing against against the exterior of your your, your backside. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> and at this point, I had never given any type of consent whatsoever. Um. <laughs> and, you know, when stuff like that happens, sometimes it takes your brain a while to process. Sure. My brain, unfortunately, did not process anything until after. I don't know how my pants got around my ankles. <laughs> Snail brain. <laughs> he is supposedly blind. I don't know what to make of this story, to be honest. It says it's from Blind Billy, someone that that uh, Cyrax referred to as existing and apparently exists. I, I don't know. Maybe this is just some elaborate troll and none of that's real. I don't understand to be honest. Wait, that was a great Wait, hold thing. up, hold up. So a blind guy did all that to him. No, he did that to the blind guy. Oh, oh God, you disgusting freak. What the fuck? He said that he was raped by a blind guy, but then the blind guy was contacted and said no, Cyrex raped me. What? Oh ew, ew, ew. What? what the fuck? That's what they say, I don't know. You fucking Dear God. Oh. So Ew. let's watch let's watch our next video. I've got another one queued up. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks, one at a time. Hopefully we're getting there. I'm 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 oh, watch it. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. hey. Uh, mom's got to run in the hospital <laughs> real quick. Because uh, I'm literally, like, literally swelling up like crazy. It's literally not normal. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. What spell? So mom's gonna run. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So mom's literally gonna run me down there real quick. To find out what the hell's going on. You've swelled up. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like <laughs> what else? What swell? <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but literally. What's that? Not normal. So mom's gonna run me down there real. quick. Was that your penis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like, Why are you so Listen to it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he will. No, I'm going to go down there. That's your penis. And I'll claim that I got some of that. Yeah, let like me know, stay away. So, yeah. Uh, his penis got all swollen. Um,. Because maybe bug bites and maybe urethral sounding and maybe it was the dick vice that did it. So Marty was Marty, Marty was uh, this little weird gremlin that we've been showcasing, right? Marty is the troll. He's one of the trolls. That's, okay, okay. It says his dick got infected by bed bug bites. As a result, during a stream, his penis suddenly expanded and he was rushed to the hospital. This was streamed during the some bullshit stream. But yeah, that's like the kind of content I want on my show. Someone's dick swelling up and they have to go to the hospital midstream. Imagine getting that Matt, much eating up my bed bucks. Matt, I'm going to need you to take one for the team. What right. do I got to do? You got to get stink bug bites all over you and swell up like a balloon. <laughs> no, st stink bugs don't bite human flesh. You want me to go get bed bugs? Yeah. You need yes, to you stink want. bugs to all spray you at once. <sighs> I'll go. Get, I'll go get bed bugs, but goddamn, Yakov, you're gonna have to pay me at least three hundred dollars. Okay, that's be fair. To get rid of them, seriously. Yeah, that's fair. So the next thing you know. Cyrax fake girlfriend turns him alt right. And everybody Based. knows 
that I'm not racist. But this <laughs> one is for you. Average Mike Enoch fan. <laughs> oh, he threw it up. And he I did the bit. That means. He threw it listen, up. Listen, listen, listen. I'm your own personal Hitler for fuck that. <laughs> you know, I'm oh, sure yeah. you're Legend. The fucking gas chamber you were born from. Whoa. You this is literally just mad if we can bully yeah. someone, bitch. Mm. Bully me. Okay. I'll throw your ass in that fucking gas chamber lyrically and fucking make sure you never. The lyrical alive. gas chamber? Lyrically. The lyrical cycle. Marty, I am your own personal Hitler, bitch. <laughs> oh, the face that it ends <laughs> on. Spectacular. That's fucking wonderful. This is literally me to the Home Depot manager when I'm told to put on a mask. That's literally me with Doro. <laughs> Doro. Someone, someone needs to edit a siege mask over him. Yeah. So, Marty, in a new trolling plan and possibly a way to get Cyrax to earn money, after Cyrax rejected an Amazon 15, 15 to eighteen dollars an hour job, thought of getting him into OnlyFans, as Cyrax also likes showing his dick to people. So we're not going to show no. any dicks, but we will give you a little taste of what's going on there. Oh, um, here's, here's really. Here's his gay audition. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not gonna fuck you. I ain't never know. You might be. It was the first time for everything. Wait, are you gay? No, just then. It was the first time for everything. Got him. Got him. Did he just get himself? What He's doobie what about the gay fuck himself. He'd be sucking on his own dick. That's impressive. Another talent listed off tonight. Let's go to this next video. Check mark. Oh. That's fun, Ooh. right? This is what he did to Blind Billy. I... Yeah. This, is, <laughs> this is your OnlyFans content, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you get. And like I said, I like videos of everything horrible you can imagine, they're available. Like you can find his infected cock. You can find his asshole. Like you can find the dick vice. Like it's all on the internet. Wait, wait. Wait, the what? Two years ago. The two dick years ago. vice, Doro. The dick two, vice. Yeah, off. Two years ago. I mean, you'd be into we, that. We mm. did the uh, the the COVID, like, with the fucking Wuhans and the Chinese people and shit. That made me really disgusted, but this is fucking foul. Fuck you. I know. We're going way this deep sucks. into this. It's only going to get worse. I, this is nothing. Uh, he's, not even, he's not even actually schizophrenic or addicted to meth, so we're getting there. Sucking his fingers. All right, whatever, dude. You're not into it. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, where are we at here? Where I want everyone to look at that fucking picture. <laughs> so something, something fake online GF. Let's move on. Yes, Marty, do you want me to end my life? No, so you won't end my life. Oh. I'm gonna have to call while being checked in now. I don't want. Here he is coming on to stream with something up against his throat. Nobody can fucking notice what it is, and we got. I believe this uh, this uh, quote unquote lady over here is his fake girlfriend currently. I'm gonna end your life. I don't want you lit. Sarex, I want you lit. <laughs> okay, it's a little dark. Right hell I'm not sure really, I, I might have taken another <laughs> shots for this. Uh, sorry, I put the knife down. Wait, Marty. Now, chats me to say, put the knife down. Put the fucking knife baby, down. Baby, baby, put the knife down. down. And we have this creature <laughs> over in the corner begging him, put the knife <laughs> down, <laughs> Cyrax. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I love you, okay? I'm not I going anywhere. Oh. Deep breath. <laughs> It's okay. You need and he puts down the fucking. I hear it's a stylus. I don't know what kind of stylus, but it was not a knife. It was just some piece of plastic. I, I stylus. Here's the other things that I heard that yes. piece of plastic that he had against his neck was something that was also up his ass. I didn't watch that video. <laughs> oh. A knock is a knock. Why am I you need to quit sucking retarded people. It's really <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you later. 
Who's that? <laughs> he's getting Why? yelled at. He's, he's threatening to commit suicide on stream, and he's trying to be tough, and now he's being yelled at by his mom from the other room. I Again? Awesome. Constantly. I want to listen to that voice. Is you need to quit sexting Stop. retarded people. It's Marty. Yeah, you. shut up. I'll tell you later. Who's that? <laughs> Marty, I'm telling you right now, you need to fucking quit. Cause you want to know what you do to me every day? This is what you make me want to do every fucking day. It's like a pen or because something. Because of what yeah, you fucking nonsense. do to me. Yeah, dude, I'll show a pen to my dad. I'll show it up my ass anytime. It's a plastic spoon. This Stop it. is what you yeah. put me through, Marty. <laughs> Don't yeah. show the dog, Sally. Come in. Yeah, seriously. Shut up. Shut up. Sally. Shut up, Tange. Has she seen you do this before? Sally, this come in. We've got a nine. This. Yeah. yeah. This is what you this do. Is this is what you do. 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 This is what What's up? He kind of sounded like Maud for a second. Oh, here we go. I want to see. I want to see <laughs> this person bust into the room and yell at him. We need a Maud Cyrus. Cyrus, can I? Maud is best. Put the knife down, Cyrus, please. Yeah. Oh no! Here we go! Here we go! No, Sally. No, don't. Yeah. No, don't. <laughs> yep. Put no. it down. Put it Baby. down. Cyrus. No. Sorry, you're gonna get fifty-one fifty, dude. Put it down. I mean, you're. you're... You need to stop, Marty. No, Marty, yeah, please, please don't talk it. right now. Um, put the knife down, Cyrax. <laughs> it's not a knife. It's a fucking pen, but Marty. This... It's not a knife. It's a fucking pen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what you do to me every it's... day. Wait, what? What is it, baby? A pen. It's the fucking pen that I use, but Marty, dude, this is what you fucking do to me every day, and you think it's a joke. <laughs> it is a joke. It's not a joke, Marty. You idea. Oh, shut the fuck up, Tim. <laughs> no, I'm Grandma gives up. <laughs> I seriously hate this guy so much. Oh my. I don't like this new episode of Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Sanchez threatened suicide. Yeah. Oh, tragic. Man. All right, all right. This like, fucking nigga. Like what he says there, 5150, that's like the form that can be uh, filled out against you um, to be institutionalized against it's, your own will. It's a Baker action. Hey, wait, call wait, it, call it down he needs, here. He needs to when police up. come and wait, take you to the bakeries? hospital instead of jail. Yeah. Bakeries? Yeah. I don't want to hear about bakeries. Have has no one else here been baker acted a few times? Uh, <laughs> I've been arrested a few times. I don't know about that. I had a cop I uh, tried to institutionalize me, but I wouldn't I wouldn't <laughs> say the right things. No, I so you I, never uh, wore the socks? I, I put I put a mask <laughs> on that uh, I'm completely normal. And I throw people off. And then, like, when they turn around, like, ah! <laughs> well, so you got some kind of institutionalized fucking yak off. That would be the funniest thing in the world. Well, you that's guys... what they do, though, when they leave these people alone that clearly need yeah. that help. You guys want to get to the end of this fucking why. saga of our saga? We're almost there. Yes. Come on, let's do it. We're almost and then I'll there. talk some shit. Fuck you guys. All right. Kate of Masshole. Kate of Masshole? That sounds weird. She reports that she pretended to be a 15-year-old girl named Crystal and had friend talks with Cyrax, pretending to be 15. Unsolicited, Cyrax sent dick pictures and masturbating videos to Kate, who was pretending to be 15. Uh, text messages to the pedo hunters. I'm going to show them right now. They cut out the dick pics. So, once again, this is Cyrax talking to a person who's pretending to be 15. We can uh, mention his dad. Oh, I got. We did already. The, the, okay. All right. And then we'll go on. Sorry. Sorry. So. Sorry. It says. Um, okay. Now this is Cyrax. Promise me you won't show anyone after a dick pic to the, <laughs> to the supposed fifteen-year-old girl. Of course yeah. I won't. Revenge porn is illegal. Wow, your dick is big. 
by the way, I will be 15 in May. I'm not too young at all. And it's all yours, he says. I am a virgin, <sighs> but all my friends are losing theirs. Your turn, cutie. Okay, what do I do? Is his response to that. And this is the downfall. This is when the trolling got really bad for him, as you might imagine. Uh, Cyrax also talked about his online relationship with Chloe, a 15-year-old girl, although Cyrax said he didn't know at the time. Let's cut to some video about that, and we can wrap this fucking thing up. You know, and I, I can see that you're trying to take accountability, and was this the only time it's, it's ever happened? Yes, it is. There was one other time, there was, there was a time recently, which, and I know that Kate brought this up, that Chloe chick that I was doing charity work for, me and her ended up together. And then I found out today, and she did not tell me this until fucking today, which I fucking blocked her ass right away. She flat out told me. Cyrax, Cyrax. She she sent screenshots where she said that she had to go to sleep early because she had to get ready for school in the morning. Yeah, and see, during that time, I thought maybe she meant, like, night school or something like that. I thought she was talking about that. Night school in the morning. See, when you talk about charity, (laughs) I usually think, like, you know, hey, you know, adults, you know, adults do charity work. Okay, cool. You know, that's awesome. Whatever. Based. That's what I was thinking on. I honestly God thought she was an adult. She at no point in time until today. Why would you ask? Yeah. Why, like, Sorry, well, that's sorry. a big, pretty big red flag that you need. To, and I'm not even talking about Chloe. I was talking about Lily, the 12 year old. Yeah, I don't even know thing. about that one. Lily what? is a fucking 12 years old. <laughs> what? That, that Chloe chick is named Lily. That's the chick that I'm talking about. She told me, and you can ask Marty because I know he saw it for himself. She indeed told me today that she was 15. And once she told me she was 15, I flat out told her, I can no longer speak to you. I'm blocking you. And I did indeed block. Wait, so there's a there's a 15 year old. So, we're, so wait, hold on, Cyrex. There's a 17 year old, a 12 year old, and a 15 year old. In addition, hold on, hold on, back up, back up. 17. What do you mean 17? I thought, that's what you said. No, no, I thought like maybe she was like eight. Like basically, I thought that Lily was an adult because of by the way she spoke, how she carried herself, how she handled herself was like a regular adult because, you know, most kids don't do charity work the way that, you know, she made it seem like. She made it seem like, oh, I'm a grown adult. This is what I do for a living. I do charity work, yada, yada, yada. Was she involved in, like, coloring books? Yes, that same <laughs> Chloe, that same one. And, <laughs> like, she made it seem like she was You don't want like, coloring well. books in school to be two giant red flags? I mean... You don't ask people's ages or, or, or even know how old they are or, uh, before you send your penis, Cyrax? Point being, Kate, this stuff needs to end. And <laughs> That's how it ends. <laughs> wow. So yeah, pretty much confirmed talking Ooh. to fucking children. I guess as long as he's no hot, no taller than four foot nine, it flies, right? That's the law, I think. Why do the uh, feds and police waste time then trying to get us to say that we're gonna bomb a federal government building with no one in it, oh, and then so convict tempting. us on that? Like, yeah, and, and this is so easy for them to go out and get somebody with. Yeah, for they sure. just gaslit. Oh this my retard. god. <laughs> that there's, cops, there's cops that's Confirm. literally their job to gaslight people and well, they're choosing I'm gonna yeah. try to get this guy on I have a phone number I don't want to do that right now maybe next week we'll try the phone number let's do that next week yeah for sure thanks Matt um, so yeah let's get the show on and we can get the show on the fucking road we can stream a little more after I stop this recording I think we're gonna do that everyone go to yaklebees.com patreon.com slash Yakov Alive. Go to yaklebees.com, hit that merch tab, buy that shit. That helps out a lot. Um, yeah, Fediverse at Yakov at kiwifarms.cc. Matt. Um, you can find me if you look on Kiwi at Matt. I'm there. I don't really post much because I don't care. You can find me on Facebook, but if you find me on Facebook, I'm going to be really skip about that. Flame. Anyway. Uh, Flame Upon Herb on 
Twitter, Noble Raider on Instagram, and Insane, or was it Lunatic Shaman okay. on TikTok? There you go. Lunatic Shaman. Doro. And go to Yacklebees. Pick hey, Doro Landia in the merch tab for Doro. Yes, yes. Thank you. Anybody Guys, you gotta buy it. Guys, you gotta buy all the gear that has the iconography of Skinwalker Gang. You have yeah, to, including my red bubble. Yeah. My T-shirt is lost in the mail, but eventually, when I get it, I will be flexing in it. I'll get that up on the <laughs> site sometime. Uh, Spears, you got anything to say? Yeah, you can find me War Thunder Tier Two Tanks, uh, Flaming Chinese People. Based, uh, Baron. Based. You want to you want to say anything before we get the fuck out of here? Thanks, Baron. All right. Thanks, oh, Baron. God. There, there he is. Uh, there he is. There he is. What do you got? Yeah, what do you got sorry. for me? I fucking joined the Yakubis disc. Let me show my shirt. Yeah, you go to also, Patreon. Also, buy products from CBD. I'm going to send my affiliate link down below. Please. <laughs> I need the money. Come on. Come on. You guys, I, I do, yeah. I do want to, like, um, do, like, a free T-shirt thing. Um, I, I'll, I'll be. I don't even. I wouldn't even it. understand the fucking logistics yeah. of that. I don't want to ask well, people for well, their addresses. I don't know how that would work. No, it, the way the way I was thinking about doing it is like you, you sign up on the Patreon and then we choose somebody every month from the Patreon randomly and we'll send you a shirt. Well, that'd be awesome. We'll see. I'll see what's up. Yeah, yeah. so you, you gotta be on the Patreon. All for right, it. we'll be talking about that going forward so thank you everybody for listening to this we're going to keep streaming on the youtube if you're watching live um yeah <laughs> get the fuck out of here